Hello, hello, hello. My name is Zeep for watching Zeep Nation, and today we're playing a new game, Fields of Mystria. Um, brand new game, still in early access. Version 0.11.7, so brand, brand spanking new. It's a little like Stardew Valley from the looks of it. But with magic. Still working, sis? Oh. Eland. I didn't realize how late it had gotten. I thought you could use a nice hot cup of coffee. Thank you. So, how is the town revitalization plan coming along? It's nearly there, I think. I've cataloged the earthquake's damage, listed out the various repairs necessary, and even made plans to replenish our emergency stockpile by the end of summer. The only thing we're missing now is the help to see it through. With mother and father called away to the capital, and people leaving after the earthquake, there certainly are fewer helping hands around. If only we could attract new villagers and move here. History is such a beautiful place. A small town, charm, and rich history of the area. The rolling farmland. That's it? The old farm south of town. Why don't we send a notice to the Adventures Guild in the capital? Yes, it's a farming sim. <laughs> Surely someone out there will agree to aid the town in exchange for land and such potential. That's a great idea. I'll get started on it. Thank you, Eland. I wonder who will answer the call. Oh. Uh. Okay. Right. Hairdo. Oh! This needs to be optimized more. I don't love that. Okay, wait, so there's only... There's only five different hairdos. Okay, no, I can live with that. Um, my name... I don't know who this Ari character is. My name is Zeep. I go by he, him pronouns. Uh, my birthday is... Winter the 20th. There's different hair. I don't really know what I got. I used to have really long hair at one point. I think that hair is probably the closest we're gonna get, right? Faces kind of look the same. I think I want this one. I have hazel eyes, uh, which is a disgusting way to say green. Um, body. I'm a pasty white boy. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't look. Oh, don't look. Uh, I'm just straight up Donald Duck in it now. Um, sleeveless top, short sleeve. Gonna get the Matt Pat sweatshirt. Oh, Fiesta, you're here. Welcome, welcome. I just started. Uh, let's see. I had to try. Oh, got gotta get those uh, polka dot undies on. What is this? Okay, okay. Um, I do own a pair of red pants. I 
Something that kind of clashes with the red jacket. Ah, that's fine. I don't really care. Then I got, uh... I do have a red pair and a black pair of Doc Martens. So let's go with the black Docs. Yeah. What am I missing? Mist Grove Farm. I think that's good. That's not yet available. Alright. That's fine. Oh, look at me. So swanky. Hello there. Don't expect to see anyone else out this way. The roads have been a real mess since the earthquake. I'm Balder, a traveling merchant. Pleased to meet you. Let me guess. You're here at Lady Adeline's request. She mentioned someone at, at taking her up on the offer. A capable adventurer? Or free land in a house? I'll say capable adventurer because I, I i do like the free land in the house but like you know we sure could use one there's a lot to do here in mystery back on its feet to get mystery back on its feet i'll walk with you to the rest of the way if you don't mind the co the company no wagons can get through this since the bridge collapsed so i've been so i've had to carry what i can on foot oh that sounds awful Great, let's go. This is so cute. Whew. We should be able to make it before it gets dark. Come on, we'll head straight to your new farm said. Let's go. Yes, I am a Sagittarius. Such a crappy ass. Lord Eland, look who I found out on the edge of the forest. Zeep, I presume. Welcome, welcome. I'm Eland. It's wonderful to meet you. You're in good hands, Zeep. I'm off to the inn. It's been a long day and I need a hot meal. I'll see you around. So, what do you think? Nice, isn't it? You're right outside of town. Great soil for farming. And look at this house. Four stout, four stout walls and a rich history. Let's go inside, shall we? Is it all uh, dilapidated inside? Ah. J just a minute. Valor reminds me of Howl from Howl's Moving Castle. Oh, you know, I I can kind of see it now. I mean, there is magic in the game, so I mean, maybe, yeah. 100%. It or appears we're not quite ready for you. But not a worry, I'm sure she'll only need a moment. Um, I'm a helper. Yeah, should we go help? No need. Aha. <laughs> you must be Zeep. I'm Adeline. Thank you so much for answering my request. My brother and I are excited for to have a real adventurer here to help the town. I hope you like your new farm. It has a lot of potential, don't you think? Why don't you come inside? A lot of potential, huh? So it's a it's a fixer upper. Welcome to your new home. Uh, it is cozy and it was fast. I'll say how cozy, yeah. I'm glad you think so. Would you like a quick tour of your room? 
I mean, I think this is... I think this is about it. I mean, since you're offering, sure. Wonderful. This theater is your diary. You can write it, write in it when you want to record your story. Oh. Save game, perhaps? And this, of course, is your new bed. Make sure to get sleep by 2 a.m. each day to keep your stamina up. You see, you see, Stardew Valley doesn't tell you when you have to uh, be in bed by. It just uh, punishes you. You just have to learn. <laughs> if they are... If they all have earrings, who's doing the piercing in the town? And then how do we pierce ours? Oh. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean... I mean, I pierced I pierced this year by myself. I mean, this is all me. Um... I did a... Th I used a thumbtack. You see, I was, a. Uh, how old was I? I was, like, uh, 16. And I was, like... I was popping a pimple, like, right here. And my dad walks in, like, walks past the bathroom because the door's open, and then he, like, stops and, like, does a double take. And he says to me, Oh, I'm sorry, for a second there, I thought you got cool and were piercing your ear. And I was like, Okay, dad, fuck you. So I grabbed a thumbtack from my drywall, like, from in the wall. Didn't even, like, really sanitize it. I kind of, like, got it, like, wet, got the drywall off. And then pierced my ear, and I was like, "Hey, Dad, do you have an earring for me?" <laughs> uh, right in front of my mom when uh, when they're like leaving for like some date or something. So yeah, that's that's a little bit of my life story. <laughs> uh, what were you saying? Uh, we're also we've also put this sh calendar up for you. You can use it to check when Mysteria holds its festivals and to check when everyone in town's birthdays are. I like that, yeah. And this storage chest here was made by Mystery's very own carpenter, Rias. You can store items here in your bag, starts to get too full. And that's about it for our tour. I thought you might be hungry when you got here, so I stopped by the inn and picked up a bowl of their famous vegetable soup. Cool. Oh, I'm sure you're worn out from the long day. We won't keep you up. Welcome to Mystery, Azeep. We're so glad to have you. Oh, this is so cozy. I like it. Let's meet up tomorrow. We can start discussing our plans for the town restoration. <laughs> I've been trying to get mine pierced, too. Not with a thumbtack, though. You know, the thumbtack's not too bad. It really isn't. So, like... I mean, I'm not, like, encouraging you to use a thumbtack. I'm just saying, if you have a thumbtack, a thumbtack will work. I mean, I pierced this one. I think it's pretty good. And then, you know, I stretched it later. And then this one, I got pierced with a... It was with a piercing gun. And I think they're pretty much even. Um, I think the one with the piercing gun was, like... A little bit too high or too low. It was professionally done, as you will. But like after you stretch it, you don't really notice, you know. Interact. Yep. So this is just a save game feature. Cool for save. It is the first. Gotcha. Spring festivals on the 17th. Is my birthday in here? Yeah. Oh, Adeline. Adeline and I almost shared the same birthday. Balor, Eland. These are only people I've met so far. I know there are more people in the game. Okay, so it only shows you the birthdays of people that you know. Because if you don't know them, why would you want to know their birthday? Time keeps moving in game even when you're inside. Oh! 7 a.m. I hope this pause menu pauses. What are these skills? There's a fossil. 
Interesting. I don't know what any of these are. They're too pixelated. But I have a sword. Ah, yes, time's a ticking. I gotta get going. Ah, hello. You must be Zeep. I'm Celine. It's so nice to meet you. I live in the cottage north of here. I'm so excited that we'll be neighbors. In fact, I brought you a little ho house warm, uh, uh, field warming present. <laughs> Here's a hoe. <laughs> You'll need it until you your fields. I love gardening myself, so I have this extra one laying around. Thanks, Celine, for the hoe. If you want to expand your field size, though, you'll need a shovel. They're available at my family's general store. Alright. I like the little plug for your your store. And here are three bags of tulip seeds to get you started. Our store also carries a selection of other seeds, so you'll be sure to stop by. I hope you'll consider growing lots of flowers. Um... I am more into potatoes, but I'm more of a people pleaser, so I love flowers. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. You know, Mystery has a rich horticultural history. He Hello, Hayden. Morning, neighbor. Name's Hayden. I run Sweetwater Farm to the west. You don't gotta tell me your name, Zeep. You're already the talk of the town. <laughs> Hayden, you almost galloped straight into poor Zeep. Ah, don't mind my horse. He just likes me and you folks as much as I do. Yeah! Uh, pleasure's all mine. A farmer after my own heart. Here, I brought you a little something. Take the watering can. You'll need to water your crops every day if you want them to grow big and strong. And here are three bags of turnip seeds. Turnips are a good raw and they're even better cooked. The whole town will surely appreciate more shipments of fresh produce. It's been a good while since I've been out here. Things sure have gotten overgrown. You need any pointers on getting started with your field deep? Sure. Oh, hello. Use your hoe on cleared field areas until to till the soil, plant seeds, water seeds, harvest crops. You can purchase shovel from the general store when you want to expand your field. Oh, so I can't, I can't till anywhere. It has to be on the soil part, not the grass part. That's different. I'm glad I checked this. Sell, cook, sell, cook, or even feed your crops to your animals. Okay, gotcha. Gotta brush up on your Crypt Custodian skills. Yeah. Oh, I should... I should finish that game. So, okay, so with Crypt Custodian, there was, like, one final, like, locked room that I couldn't get into. I grinded for a few hours. Um... And I can make a video on that now. Like, I've... I... There's, like, one final ending I should do. Thank you for reminding me. Um... Hayden's TV looks like a caveman and I can't convince me otherwise. Oh, be nice. I mean, he... He kind of looks like Linus from a Stardew. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. And don't be shy, Zeep. Come by anytime if you want to chat. I'd love to introduce you to all my animals. I'm sure you must be eager to meet up with Adeline. Just head north of here, and the road will take you right to town. Cool. Alright, um... I don't... Oh wait, I just tilled... I, I can't I can't plant there. Why does this feel gross? Is this backwards? Hmm. 
let's see, should plant a few crops here. I don't have like a... S yeah, this is backwards. Can I change settings? Controls. Do we have a scroll wheel control? Next toolbar item. Is that the same thing? Did I just uh, change it to the exact same thing as it was? So I think I did. Okay. Apparently next is actually previous. I got Linus because I've never played Sardu and he is also a caveman. Yes. Linus is homeless. I don't mean that in like a demeaning way or anything, but that is just his character. He is he lived in a tent. I guess he has a home. His home is a tent. He's houseless. Now what's easier? Would it be Yeah. Okay, cool. So I got some crops going. Oh my god, it's already 940. What are you? There's a thing behind there. North town, south... Mr. Of That's my farm. I should have named it Zeep's farm. This is too confusing now. Dandelion. Must be the last one of the season. A wildflower that grows in the spring, sometimes used in cooking recipes. That's disgusting, but okay. Oh, is that morel? Oh, rare mushroom forage in the spring has a delightful nutty flavor and is commonly used in cooking ingredients. I really want to go morel hunting. That sounds like fun to me. I don't know how to jump this. Oh, and I can destroy those with a sword. Fiber made of plant material using a variety of crafting recipes. Neat. Hey, dried grass that can be used as feed for large animals. Also used in certain crafting recipes. Grass seed can be used as a basic feed for small animals. Right off the bat, there's so much going on. Yep, Immortal Grasshopper. Is this my inventory? Is this all the space I have? Okay. Well, right off the bat. Gosh, it's already noon. How the time flies. Okay, let's not carry this everywhere. Probably don't need any of that stuff. Food and a sword. That sounds good. I did just meet new friends. They do show up here. Yeah, there's the caveman. Dandelion soup, my man. I don't... Have you ever had dandelion tea? Like... Yeah, it's a thing, but like... It's not good. It's so, it's so bitter. It's super bitter. How are things going on the farm, Zeep? Settled in yet? Remember, I'm just up the road if you need a, an extra pair of hands. Oh, and they get upset just like in uh, Stardew. Can I steal your crops? I don't think I can. Uh, yeah. Nope. Can I just enter into your home? journal full of handwritten notes sits half open on the mantle. The Codex Mystria that 
Irul loan to me appears to be an ancient record of local flora. Amazing. Hmm. What is this? There are no events today. Cool. Oh! He just has a wagon. Oh, that's neat. I have nothing to sell, though. I have 50 coin, though. That's pretty nice. Wild berry. These small red berries are forged in spring and used in a variety of cooking recipes. Neat. Can I... I can't get the logs with the sword, though. Okay. Do I have a map? Oh. An M is hotkey to map. I love that. Do I not know these people? Is that why they are uh, grayed out? I suppose that makes sense. Where am I? Am I right here? Terithia. Ahoy there. I'm Terithia. And who might you be? Ah, that's right. Adeline mentioned her plan a while back. I didn't realize someone had taken her up on it. I run a little tackle shop out on the beach. Oh, there's fishing in the game. I sell fishing rods and a small selection of freshly caught fish. Feel free to stop by. Neat. Swing by my farm whenever you like, Zeep. The animals are friendly and they love meeting new people. Oh, well, there's no rush. I'm sure you got plenty to do. Well, with getting the lay of the land here in Mystria. Does the feed mean we get animals? And if we do, uh, have sheep. You want to name? You want to name it? Yeah. Uh, there are animals in the game. There's an animal tab. I don't know what animals are. Um, in fact, but we do get animals. And absolutely, yeah, you can name one. Hundred percent. What is this? Is this a griffin? An ancient stone griffin. They seem to be common feature in the Narrows. Cool. Okay, let me hit M again. I'm here. Yeah, I'm a big glowy ball of, uh, of energy. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. Oh, there's a museum. Oh, fossils. Hello there. Errol. Errol? Hello, are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? I hear you'll be helping to raise Mystria's renown. How splendid. It seems we share a common goal. You can call me Errol. I'm the curator of Mystria's brand new museum. I hope you'll consider donating some items. Is a great way to earn renown. You'll even receive rewards for each collection you complete. Let's support each other's efforts for Mystria, eh? I'll be rooting for you, Zeep. Oh, anything you say, buddy. Uh, view wing. I don't think I have anything to donate, really. Okay, so archaeology, fish, flora, and insects. Fish should be pretty easy. I know nothing about the game. I'm not sure why I'm saying that. I have nothing to donate. Not even flora. Cool. I like this. I like this game a lot. Errol is Linus but bald. Errol is built. He is. <laughs> He's a big boy. He's a... Big strong man. Oof. Oh, where are you? I want in. I really want in. I don't know what that is. What are you? 
The stairs looked too dangerous to climb in this state. They were probably destroyed in the earthquake. Right, yeah, earthquake, yep. I like that it gives you a reason for like why everything's like dilapidated and like you can't go certain ways. A rare and beautiful flower that grows in spring can be sold, gifted, or used in certain crafting recipes. Is that the museum? Can this be donated to the museum, perhaps? The stairs look too dangerous to climb in the state. They were probably destroyed in the earthquake. Okay, yeah, yeah. Earthquake's bad. Oh, fish. Oh, it's just like, um, the game with the animals, uh, Animal Crossing, you know, that one. You can see the fish. They just be. He's probably built from power lifting them fossils, yeah. Them old bones lifting other old bones. Build strong bones. That's what life's all about. Okay, I, I want a fish. I want to learn how to fish. Also, I want to fill out my map completely. Okay. Oh, I saw you. What are you? Rubble blocks what appears to be a cave entrance. Probably destroyed in the earthquake, you know. Oh, wait. If I can... If I get a pickaxe, maybe I could, uh, open that up. I can go into someone else's bed. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Box full of worn out mining tools. I mean, I'm not against borrowing a few, you know? Okay, so we met him. Everyone's in the main part of town. I should, uh, probably go to the main part of town then, huh? I couldn't see myself for a second. That's how you hide secrets. I know that game. Oh, hello. Hey there, Zeep. I was hoping I'd run into you. Your timing is perfect. I'm sure you're eager to start helping Mystria and its citizens, so I'm here to tell you about our town's request board. Come with me. As the name implies, villagers post their requests here every day. You'll receive rewards whenever you complete them. It's a great way to earn money, equipment, and most importantly, renown. Renown? Ah yes, let me explain the basics. As you know, Mystery is just one of the many towns that make up the kingdom of Aldaria. I didn't, I did not know that, but thank you. Um, all of them receive a town rank according to their renown level. Uh, towns with a higher town rank enjoy more popularity and more support from the capital. Mystery's renown level was improving prior to the earthquake. Since then, though, we're down two entire town ranks. His daughter and heiress of Mystria's Baron, improving this situation is my highest priority. With your help, we'll repair the earthquake's damage, raise Mystria's town rank, and put this village back on the map. Why don't you go ahead now and accept your first request? It's one I just put up for you. Alright. I'm sure you've met some of the your neighbors already. Uh... But wouldn't it be nice to say hello to everyone? Don't be shy. Introduce yourself. Cool. Introduce yourself to all the townsfolk. And then talk to Adeline. Your map can help you locate everyone. Yeah. I noticed that. Cool. Perfect. That was easy, right? I'm sure you want to meet your new neighbors as much as they want to meet you. As you get to know them better, your journal can keep track of your relationship with them even document their favorite gifts. Ooh. And what do you like? Well, tulips are nice, and they are in season right now. 
I hope you can be growing some on your farm. Oh, wink, wink. You can view the map in your journal. It should give you a good idea where people are. Isn't that helpful? And each time you meet someone, it'll update. You can think of this as the first step to the path of restoring the town. Isn't that exciting? Come talk to me once you're done meeting everyone. I mean, sounds easy enough, right? But the goal is like literally meet everyone in town. Like, steep ask, my dude. Nora. Ah, you must be Zeep. Welcome to Mysterium. I'm Nora. I run the general store in town with my husband and our daughters. I'm also head of the Chamber of Commerce in this Saturday... Saturday market. Though, unfortunately, the Saturday market has been on hiatus since the earthquake caused the bridge into town to collapse. Balor is currently the only merchant that even attempts to tr the trip these days, and he has to do it all on foot. Think I can fix a bridge? I have no experience whatsoever in uh, bridge making, but I think I can do it. Oh, right. Adeline did mention that you'd be helping out in town in exchange for the farm. If the broken bridge were repaired, all sorts of merchants could resume bringing their war their wares to town on Saturdays. You'd love it. Anyway, if you need anything in the way of seats and supplies, please stop by the store anytime. Cool. I do have stuff in my inventory, right? What am I looking at? What are these cat- so seeds, sure. Food? Food. Tools. Storage? No, furniture. Yeah. I wish this was labeled different. I don't really love how they have this labeled. Oil. Oil looks like bullets. Cool. I can't afford anything. Oh. Oh, Zeep. We're so thrilled you moved into town. You're already fitting right in. Cool. Let me just walk in your house, don't mind me. Bolt. Oh, hello there, you must be the new face in town. Nice to meet you, Zeep. I'm Holt. I'd be wondering who moved... Who moved into the old farm? Are you part cow, sir? Ah, ha, ha. I'm pleased to meet you, too. <laughs> ah, I'm a farmer. Farm jokes. Ha, <laughs> that's a good one. Anywho, my wife Nora and I just uh, run the general store. Our girls, Celine and Del. You should have named her Dion. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Celine and Del help out as well. Stop by uh, if you ever need supplies. Will do. Yeah, just build a bridge to impress the ladies. No biggie. Should be easy enough. This door had a skull and crossbones on it. Hello. Hello, are you the one moving into the old farm? I'm Del. That place is haunted, you know. Haunted with monsters. I swear I saw one hiding behind the tree. Let me know if you have any trouble and I can take care of them for you. I don't... Oh, I don't like that you can... I'm not a fan of that. I don't think I should be in this room at all, to be fair. Uh, well, shelves displayed an impressive collection of cool, cool rocks and sticks. Neat. Who's in here? Okay, just the master bedroom. Can I read your diary? A peek into this book reveals that Holt's punning journal. <laughs> yes. You put it down quickly. No. 
I'm being railroaded. Is she the farmer in the dell? Huh. Perhaps. Perhaps. I mean, I think she's a bit young, though, to be a farmer. Although she has a skull and crossbones, she, she means business, really. Okay. Can I go into the supply? I cannot go into the supply closet. Okay. Wait, I need to meet people. I'm right here. This must be the tavern. Yeah. I know a tavern when I see one. Oh. Too far. It's up one. Juniper, hello. So, you're the newcomer. Is that right? Well, Z, you can call me Juniper. I recently opened the one and only bathhouse in the backwater village. A backwater bathhouse, eh? Aside from catering to the grubby townsfolks, I have my own reasons for being here. Anyway, please stop in often. By the luck of you, you could certainly use it. I just got a town! I haven't even planted anything yet. I mean, I planted a couple seeds, but like... Rude. Ugh, Juniper's a brat. I love it. Zeep, I'm glad I bumped into you. I've forgotten to mention. Make sure that you put anything you don't want to sell into the shipping bin next to your house. I'll pick it up your shipments and leave your payments overnight. The shops in this town depend on the stock I produce for them, so we're all looking forward to your business. Okay. Hello, you must be the new farmer, Zeep, is it? Me? I'm the town's doctor, I run the clinic. No need for formalities though, you can just call me the Valen? Nice to meet you. You too, Zeep. I hope you're getting settled in all right. Running a farm is hard work. Be sure that you get plenty of sleep and eat well to keep your energy up. It, oh, this is my energy, isn't it? Cool, cool, cool. Now, who do we have here? Are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? Great to meet you, Zeep. I'm Hemlock. If you ever need a good meal, a cold drink, or some good company, be sure to stop by the Sleeping Dragon Inn. I love that, that's a good name. There's always a cauldron of hearty soup kept hot for everyone who wants a bowl. I want some soup. Today's flavor is corn chow. Ooh, that sounds so good, actually. You want a bowl? Is it free? For free? Wait, actually, though. Oh. Wait, actually, though, that's free soup. Cabinet is full of glassware in various bottles. An empty mason jar features a worm and healing label which reads, Bees do not touch. Okay. Lovely. There are four more people in here I haven't met yet. Wait, this is a door. I'm on a hunt. Hello, is this your private room? No. Just busting down doors left and right. <laughs> Josephine. Hello there. Well, you must be our new farmer. Adeline mentioned you'd be arriving soon. Delighted to meet you, Zeep. You can call me Josephine, though I also go by Joe. I run the Sleepy Dragon Inn with my husband, Hemlock, and our children, Reyna, Maple, and Luck. Have you met them yet? Stop by any time, dear. You're always welcome whether you need a meal or just want to chat. I, it'd be my pleasure to serve up either. Hello, hello. Good, how are you?
Maybe if we play our cards right, Valen will be our, our Valentine. You're on it for Valen? I'm not sure yet. There's, uh, there's a few other characters I know about that, uh, pique my interest. Hello, do you like bugs? Yes, I love bugs. I love ants, specifically. Excellent, my name's Luck, and I'm excited to have a fellow insect enthusiast in town, finally. Wait until I tell my sister. Cool. Yeah, we just started the game. It's uh, the first day, trying to meet all the townsfolks right now. It's a really fun game. Oh, hello, you must be the new farmer. My name is Reyna. My family owns the Sleepy Dragon Inn. It's a pleasure to meet you, Zeep. What well, brings you to Mystria, if you don't mind me asking? Um... My dream of being a farmer, clearly. That's so lovely. I'm excited to see that what types of produce you'll grow. I have a passion for food, especially when it's locally sourced. Well, I hope you'll stop by and try my cooking sometime. I'll be looking forward to it. Maple. Hi, are you the new farmer? My name's Maple. Where do you live before you came here? Have you ever been to the capital? That's where the royal family lives, you know. You can ask me anything. I know all about them. Okay, cool. Cool. I think... I think that was everyone. I mean, there's one more room to check anyway, right? You stream daily? No. You see... I would love to stream daily. Um, in fact, I would love to keep the schedule that I currently have on Twitch. It just doesn't quite work out that way. I stream whenever I can, for the most part. Like, I have some games that, like, I just can't stream because they require too much, too many resources. Like, I currently have a Harry Potter series out right now that I'm working on. Unfortunately, I can't stream that one. But I'm trying to stream... Let's, let's aim for two times a week, I think. I should head home. Hmm. I haven't met the blacksmith yet. Oh no, is he gone? Where'd he go? No, he's in there somewhere. Oh, are you asleep? Hello. March. The name's March. What do you want? <laughs> A little edgy. I'm Zeep, I'm the new farmer. I don't see what that has to do with me, regardless of what Adeline says. We really don't need an outsider to come in and solve our problems for us. I, we have everything under control. Just don't get in the way. Okay. Rude. What do I do to you? Not like burst into your bedroom or anything. Hey, are you asleep? Ulrich. Whoa, are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? The one who's come up to help the town? That's super cool. Nice to meet you, Z. The name's Ulrich. My brother and I live uh, at the blacksmith's. I hope we can be friends. Me too. Me too. Yeah, will do. Um, I I do really love streaming. Um, great way to meet new people for sure. But like, it takes it takes more work, more effort than to just record a video for YouTube. Um, I'm probably at the place where like, I can just relax. Like I have, I have videos for like the whole rest of the week to upload, so that's nice. To, like get on top of it. Oh, I like this bed. Oh, wait. Sh uh, I'm gonna pass out in half an hour. Oh, I don't know where my house is. Okay, it's just down. It's just down. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Time moves way too fast. Can I make it onto... Uh, where am I from? I live in the United States, more, uh, closely at Wisconsin area. Hello, Kimachi. 
I'm going to butcher everyone's name if I start trying to do that. Yeah, so like Midwest area. I lived in Minnesota for most of my life. Moved to Wisconsin. Uh, I've been living in Wisconsin for the last two or three years now. From New York. Oh, and yes, you live in Illinois. Yeah, that's so crazy. Like, you really do meet people from like all over the world. Internet is a wild place. Really cool, though. Okay, do I start with like half energy? I overslept. Oh, yeah, so. Three quarters health and energy, it looks like. Bummer, bummer. Ah, good morning, Zeep. When I was here the other day, I noticed something suspicious about this tree. I believe it's covering an old stonework. So you're just gonna chop down my land, my trees now, huh? As head of the historical society, I thought I'd investigate, but this old bark is proving to be suspiciously tough. Historical society, you say? Aha! That is to say, Errol, uh, Terithia, and Ulrich. When you can remember. I'd be del delighted if you joined us. Whew. I think I need a moment. Let me take a swing at it. Oh boy, by all means. Here, you can have my axe. Cool. Free axe. What if my inventory was full just now? Okay. Alright, alright. Uh, by the way, I have a great idea for your channel. Can I share you? Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Share ahead. Uh, we talked before on stream, remember me? I think so. Um, uh, that was one of my last streams, right? Um, was that when I played Sand? I'm so bad at keeping track of names. Like, in real life, like, actual names? Like, like, screen names are a whole different beast for me. So I do apologize. It might take me a few times, uh... To figure out names here. Actually, I'm a professional artist for past six, seven years. I can do logo banner, emote subs, badges, overlays, VTube models, everything related to streaming. You want to see my work artwork? This feels more like an ad than not. Um, sure. I don't know if I have time to check it out this second, but yeah, I can look at it. Ah, this is a statue of Calderas, the mythological guardian of Mystria. Our ancient ancestors used to worship statues like this one. What an incredible find. Shame about the head, but with a little help from the newest member of the historical, historical society, I think we can see him a good as new. If you would see... Big strong man. Cool. There we are. Don't you just love th that sense of achievement? I believe that reconnecting with mystery is past is the key to our future. This has been a most productive morning. Thank you for all you've, your help. Please keep the axe and let me know if you stumble uh, upon any intriguing archaeological finds yourself. Cool. Yeah. Free axe. I get your Discord. Uh, yeah, give me one second on that one. Actually, last time I... Actually, last time I tell you that I'm a commission artist... Uh, I don't quite remember that. Um, I do have a Discord. If I can do the thing... Give me one second as I do a thing. How do I share? 
Hmm. There's a way to do this, I'm sure. Can't figure it out immediately. Yeah, um, because I'd be interested in like in like a new banner and some stuff. So like, seems like there's two people that are artists here. Um, yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Um, I'll probably put like a link to my Discord in the description there. Um. Yeah, yes, yeah, so if you could share the link to the Discord, that'd be great. I'm just honestly kind of new to Discord, so like sharing that stuff takes an extra second and brain cells that I don't currently have available. The statue has a dignified presence, almost seems alive. Cool. Ooh, and I got mail. As the curator of Mysteries Museum, I'm delighted to share that we have a, unveiled a series of tiered rewards to encourage donations to our collection. Please stop by the museum west of town for your earliest convenience. Cool. I still have, what, two people to view to meet? Yeah, let's go back into town and meet those last two people here. Am I on Instagram? I mean, I have a personal Instagram account, but like I don't have like a uh, YouTuber influencer account. Although I should get one of those. Hell, do you know that you can shake bugs out of trees when you... And you won't get in trouble even if they land in your mom's hair. That's a wild thing to say. There's someone up here. Oh, it's you. If you need help with your new garden, go bother someone else. I'm busy. Alright, March. Rude boy. Rias. Hey, you must be Zeep, right? Nice to meet you. Welcome to Mysterium. I'm Rias. I run the carpenter's shop with my uncle, late Landon. Uh, if you have any interesting, interesting crafting, let me know. I'd be more than happy to give you some tips. What kind of crafting? Well, woodworking is my specialty. I'm sure you'll want to make things like fences and furniture for your farm, right? Feel free to use the crafting station near the town square. If you stop by the carpenter's shop, you can also purchase some crafting recipes if you like. Anyway, good luck getting settled in. Let me know if you need anything. Cool? Yeah, sure. One more person, so up and to the right. Do I know these people yet? Uh, thanks, Maple. Okay, you got me. I'm not a lady maple yet, but I'll still accept any tribute in the form of snacks. I don't think I have any. I have berries. By royal decree, I declare. This is a gift. That this gift is okay. Alright, cool. Are you still clearing out the farm, Jeep? Have you found any monsters? Nope, not yet. You gotta tell me if you do. The Dragon Guard helps everyone in need. Zeep, have you broken up the rocks around your farm? Sometimes there's insects living underneath. I'd love to see what you find. Uh, you sent me a request on Discord. Uh, be careful of the trees in Animal Cross, and you can shake them and get chased by a swarm of bees. Ugh. That doesn't sound very pleasant. Cool, cool. I got uh, two people with suspiciously similar names asking for me to accept their friend request on Discord and Instagram.
Oh, hello. I like your shop here. Juniper. Oh, it's the newcomer. I suppose I should be thankful. I was the newcomer until you arrived. Josephine's got someone new to fuss over. Cool. Oh, and you have a dog. Woof. I'm not sure what I expected. Caller says... Dazi? Uzi? I'm going with the Uzi. I like Uzi more. Or Dozy. Yeah. Dozy wags his tail. Good boy. Your pockets look a little light, see? Why don't you come back when you have... 100... Tesseria. Is that the currency? I got half that. <laughs> the bubbling cauldron fills the room with a scent of leech and rose. Wait, did I read that? Leche. Woo, big difference. I like this place. This is nice. Okay, is that everyone? Do I know everyone? There's a person over there yet. And then hopefully I can just turn in this quest, right? Zeep, welcome, welcome. I assume this is about my letter? Yeah, that's exactly why I came here. <laughs> Excellent. In my talks with the Lord Ilian and Lady Adeline, they entreat entreated me to concern myself with objects from antiquity as well as the use of a museum to showcase the many unique specimens of Mystria. To wit, if you could bring me not only your archaeological finds, but also the plants, insects, and fish of the region, I believe together we can create a museum that's one of a kind. Indeed, I will display the items that you donate so that visitors from far and wide can appreciate what mystery has to offer. And do not think we would be ungrateful. There is a generous re reimbursement policy set up by the Historical Society, renowned in all kinds of rewards. Would you like to view the museum tutorial? Sure. Open the museum menu and interact with the museum ledger. Put items that you want to donate into the donation box and then hit donate. Pretty straightforward. You'll see which sets of items you went into and how close these sets are to accomplish. Cool. You can check the museum wings at the ledger see set accomplishment statues and reward hints. You can check item tool tips to see if an item belongs to a set and if not you have already donated it or not. Cool. What do you say, Zeep? Can you count on, can we count on you? Sure. Splendid. As an official Suvin surveyor, <laughs> let me give you a small uh, stipend to welcome you. Just a hundred coin. Cool. Wait, but I want to go back in here. You, I don't know you. Elsie, hello there. Oh my, now who do we have here? Zeep? That's a nice name. My name is Elsie, I live in the man manor house with my niece and nephew, Adeline and Eland. Their parents, the Baron and Baroness, spend most of their time in the capital, especially these days. I once did too. What grand times. But splendid time in Mystria, you really started to appreciate country living. Well, be sure to stop by for a chat anytime, dear. I can share the latest gossip and even some romantic advice if you need it. Alright. I'll be sure to, uh, 
Sure to talk to you later about that. Got two flowers. All right, 40%, here we go. The flora wing is only 2%. There's a lot of flora. Okay. Okay, no, that's fine. Oh, I got a lot of chat I just missed, huh? Actually, there's so many people who scamming streamers. AI hey, hurts, but I'm not the type. You like the attention to detail? Um, this game, like, Errol's Pocket Watch? Yeah, no, the attention to detail is really cool. I really enjoy this game so far. I'm not convinced I'm not surrounded by bots. No, that's fair. I definitely think that these two people are bots. Um, but it's a lot of work to ban them right now. Um, we'll see. We'll see. What was I doing? I got so distracted there for a second. Um, does Q, no, I, P, go to M. Are these my quests? 21 out of 22. Who am I, who have I not met? I want those three potato seeds. Magic spells? Hmm. There's someone right here. That's the last person. So, straight down, kind of to the left. Gotcha. Ooh, berries. Oh, hello. Hey Z, fishing is good today if you've got the time. Cool. Um, hey, have some berries. Oh, uh, have some berries. Thanks. I didn't love that. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> what are you? Is this a bird statue? A mysterious looking chicken statue. There are shiny beads glinting from the bottom of this container. Interesting. Lilac. Oh, I can donate that for sure. Got an acorn. Very nice. Time's running out. Where's that house? Up to the right. Where are you? You in bed? No. Where are you hiding? It says that they're inside. Are you a chicken? And Rita, this chicken clucks at you with a regal air. You're sure this must be Henrita, Hayden's prize winning chicken. A pleasure to meet you. Henrita packs it from the ground indifferently to your blatant attempt to get on her good side. That was the last per- this is a member of the town. That- that- that chicken... Huh. Wait. Do I have my calendar here, or is that only in my bedroom? 
Oh. We got a whole mess of people. Wait, no, there's still a question mark. We still have one person that we're missing. Wait, but do they not count for that quest? They do. Okay. Well, I should go down here to get that fishing pole, though. Where's that last person? Far right, okay. I should be able to make it there in time. It's only eight, yeah, I should be, I should be just fine. You enjoyed the cozy streams? I'm really glad. Um, I like playing like big action shooters, but like every now and then a cozy game just feels right, you know? Wait, can I just buy a fishing rod? 500 coins! Oh, that's way too much. Can I sell stuff? Or can I only sell stuff... Um... In my tool chest. We're at the general store, perhaps? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Okay, I guess I'm uh, going back. Okay, I need a bug net for that, I think. So... To the right, too. Gosh, the time moves so fast in this game. Not sure I'm going to get everything done. Can I sell stuff here? No, I don't think so. Not that I even have like a ton to sell anyway, you know? Did I water my crops today? I don't think I watered my crops. Yeah, no, the Sandstream is, uh, definitely an acquired taste. Like, ooh, I found a tulip. Oh, that's, uh, Celeste's favorite flower? Yeah, no, the Sandstream was, like, definitely an acquired taste. Like, I love that game. It's a lot of fun. But it's definitely not everyone's cup of tea, and I totally get that. Um, again, like, it says on my channel preview like I'm a nomad gamer like I, I play pretty much anything and everything like I love the cozy comfy feeling of this game I love like spooky games or oh, I'm starting to love spooky games I haven't played too many of them <laughs> um action games like I really just kind of do everything like if it's a good game it's a good game right okay there's one last person here you Landon. Hi there, the name's Landon. You must be the the one Lady Adeline was t telling us about. My nephew, Rias, is around your age. He's taken the lead at the carpenter shop since I retired. We sell everything from carpeting stations and furnish, furniture recipes to farm buildings and home upgrades. Stop by any time. Cool. Were you the last person on my list? You were... Awesome, so tomorrow I just have to talk to that person, uh, Adeline, and I should be all set. Now if I can just find it back to my house before time runs out, that would be splendid. I actually have no idea if I can get back in time, because I keep on going the wrong way, apparently. This way? 
That nah, doesn't seem right. Oh no. It's up here, right? Yeah, it's definitely up there. Uh, is this going to be the second day in a row that I don't make it back to bed on time? Oh, 100% it is. Wait. Right there. It's right there. I can go down. I got half an hour to make it past. I got 20 minutes. No, I'm screwed. Yeah. Well. Womp womp. Yeah, I like talking to people. That's fun. Um. Oh, hello, Dragon. Calderas. Well met, mortal. You're the guardian dragon? I am Calderas, the guardian of Mystria. Thank you for repairing my shrine. Ah, I've been asleep since... Earthquake? Well, I can't seem to remember exactly. Even now, my mind is shrouded in fog. Magical essence has begun to flow again in Mystria. Of that much, I'm certain. I ask you to... I ask you to extend your assistance once more, mortal. I need you to collect the essence and offer it to my shrine so that I may regain my strength. I hereby bestow upon you the ability to sense and collect essence. You should find it natural, naturally when going around your daily tasks. Would you like to view the skill prep tutorial? Yeah, yeah, I would. Gather essence from activities such as farming, fishing, mining, and more. Cool. Interact with Calderas to view skill perks menu. Select a perk to see its description. Purchase a skill perk with essence to unlock it. I grow tired. Let us speak again tomorrow at my shrine. Yeah, you can count on me, dude. Sleep now, mortal. We'll speak again soon. Neat. Cool. So I got 20. What? What are? What? What is this? Is this? Uh, is this good boy points? Are these good boy crowns? I think so. I got 30 of them. New reward available in the reward chest. Next to the request board. Cool. Spring three. I overslept. Oh, bummer. I probably don't need to save it. Just saved, didn't it? I met Calderas. Does it... Does Calderas have a birthday? No, the big mythical dragon doesn't have a... Doesn't have a birthday, huh? The chicken has a birthday, though. Okay. Wild. The dog has a birthday. Why does the dragon not have a birthday? Hmm. Big upset. Probably need a watering can, huh? If I'm gonna do farm stuff. <laughs> I think I scared the bots away. Yeah, if you just kind of ignore them, they go away, I think. Like, it's one thing, like, if I get, like, one bot, right? It's like, hey, check out my stuff. I do totally not AI art, right? But then it's like you get two people that are saying basically the same exact thing with the usernames that both start with the same first two letters and end in like the last letter. Like, I don't know. Sketchy. Let's repair the bridge, Zeep. 
I'm sure you've noticed the state of the bridge into town where you arrived. I'd like to introduce you to the group of us that are spearheading a repair plan. Could you meet us at the bridge east of town? I suppose I could go that way. Hello, mister. Ah, greetings, mortal. The time has come for you to begin collecting essence. Essence will appear in the form of small purple orbs as you go about your day. Uh, try activities such as farming, fishing, and mining. I'll be sure to find some. Use this shrine whenever you want. Offer your collected essence. In exchange, I will use my restored power to grant you skill perks. These skill perks will serve to make life easier for you. Cool. I grow tired. Let's speak again tomorrow. Use shrine. I have I have zero I have zero of these magic essence things. Cool. I'll look at that later. Okay, I I I officially talked to the dragon in the real life. Does dragon have birthday now? No. Okay, bummer. Lame. How do I get across the river? Can I go up? Cool. Should probably clear out some of my farm. I need to get used to this map too though. I keep on... Keep on missing the exits here. <laughs> a lot of bites today, but no sign of the big old, the big one. I'll catch him one day. I know some mystery may seem a tiny backwater town, but keep an open mind. As charms the capital could never offer, you'll see. I said east of town, do I just keep on going east? Blueberries, that's new. Cool. I might actually be able to finish up the uh, the floral flower bundle. Fennel, neat. Wild leek. You can find artifacts all over Mystria. They can be donated to the museum or sold, but I really hope you'll donate them. Yeah, I mean, I'll donate it as much as I can. Where, uh... Where is this place I should go? The deep woods locked. Why is it locked? I'm confuzzled where that bridge is now. They said it east. Hmm. Oh wait, is the bridge literally right there? That might be it. Oh, here we go. Hey, Zeep. We're just getting started. Adeline, you know I'm up for it, but this is a big project. You can rely on me to keep Mysteria supplied with the basics until the construction is done, but I can't work miracles. Without the bridge, I can't get my wagon in and out of town. There's only so much I can carry on my back. I've allocated the, all the resources I can for this, but the earthquake relief from the capital hasn't been as robust as we'd hoped for. I've talked it over with the other merchants in town. We're happy to contribute funds. You've got our backing. That's wonderful to hear, Nora. However, with the whole kingdom in dire need of repair materials, we can't afford the inflated price on the stone and wood we'll need.
Wonderful, Zeep. I knew you were the right person for the job. <laughs> Gathering materials locally would definitely speed up things. That farmland of yours is loaded with high quality stone and timber. Is it? It just kind of looks like rocks on the ground. If you're willing to do the gathering, we can compensate for the materials. By my calculations, 60 stone and 60 wood should be enough. <laughs> Sounds right to me. I'm sure we'll come through with a repair bridge. We'll be able to get to the Saturday market and up and running again. We'll set up the donation box here for the bridge for you to deposit any gathered materials. Come talk to me when you're finished and we'll begin the repairs. <laughs> We're counting on you. I don't... I don't have an axe, though. I... I probably need... Probably need a pickaxe to get stone, right? Yeah. Oh, I picked up a pine cone. Okay. Um, well, I can probably bin that. How do you... Oh, that's the row. Sixty? They really say 60? I'm at 11 right now. I think we're a little bit away from 60. Now I mentioned my stamina is uh, not doing so hot either. Although I could eat some soup. I gotta hold it, gotcha. That did a lot of health. You're worried about the bees? There might not even be bees in the game, you don't know. Or maybe there are like tons of bees everywhere and it's awful. Um, both options are, are valid, you know? Nah, I guess the acorn stays. That 25 wood. I need so much more. Well, there are bugs in the game. There are probably bees, right? Hopefully. Oh, maybe they're ants. I like ants. Animal Crossing flashbacks. <laughs> Uh, can I buy stuff? I, I can. Home upgrade. 500 wood, 500 stone, 5,000 coin. Okay, okay, I see you. I could just buy the stone. That's so much, why is that so expensive? Yeah, I'm not going to buy the stone. Fiber is 20? Yeah, your prices are way off, my dude. Fiber is 20 and you're selling a, a basic chair for 150? What is this economy, dude? Ooh, we can buy... Cabin scroll bundle. Cottage scroll bundle. Are these different house designs? Crafting station costs a thousand. Why is this all so expensive? Ooh, I'm gonna need to figure out how to make money here. Maybe going to bed at a decent time is a, a good idea, you know? Instead of just like falling asleep at 2 a.m. every night in, in the woods. 
Although I'm finding a whole lot of uh, purple stuff. There's a cherry tree. I don't know how to destroy that yet. Okay, worth a try. You want an origin story, why Zipa Nation? Um, it's kind of a play on wor on words. So like, I was in a fraternity, um, and my fraternity name uh, was Zeep. Um, so that's just kind of my name that I go by. Um, more than that, I don't really know. Uh, so like, kind of like Zipa Nation, like take over the world kind of thing, like, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. What about you? You have like three different usernames. Um, let's see, so I have 46 out of 60 wood, so that's a start for sure. Honestly, I might be able to get the rest of the wood here pretty soon. Oh, I can jump. Oh, I can jump all the time. Oh, that's pretty cool. different points in your life. I get that. I've only gone by like a few different usernames for most of my accounts, which uh, makes it real easy to figure out anything about me, unfortunately. Um, so much for uh, security, right? But yeah, no, I, I get that. Hey, it's already 8 p.m. I should head towards my home. Probably chop down trees over there for a little while. Um, okay, I'm gonna mess this up again. Let's go down one more, and I think I can go out that way. That's a sign. Signs are a uh, good, good sign. Oh no, a wall. Okay, let's not do this again. It's down one, and then to the left. I still want a fishing rod. Fishing rods seem to be like 500 coin. Wait, weren't you just over there a second ago? Hmm. And then... Yeah, it's just down here. Cool, yeah, I'm, I'm learning. Look at that. Oh, cool. So, prepared picker, what does that do? Harvesting a, a forageable will occasionally drop a seed version if it can be grown. Cool. Did I water my crops today? I did. Cool. Awesome. Um, Let's sell a whole bunch of stuff. This, um, that, keep the wood. Let's see if we can juggle some stuff around here, too. Um, I do want the axe still, because I do want to chop down a few more trees yet. So we've already donated that. We don't need grass seed this second, nor do we need hay. We can probably get rid of mushroom as well. And then everything else, I think... Yeah, I want to keep everything else. Look at that, we're going to make some money now. Hopefully it'll be enough money to like... I don't know, buy a fishing rod? Maybe a pickaxe if I can come across it? It looks like the sword doesn't deplete any energy, so that's good to know. We're not 
really sure what fiber is used for either, though. Uh, perhaps rope or other uh, crafting. But as of right now, if I can sell it for at least one coin, that more than worth it to me. You used to make lyric videos on YouTube? That's pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, you like anime? Yeah, uh, fairy tale is pretty good. I never really got into fairy tale. My one of my younger brothers really got into fairy tale. Um, but there's like thousands of episodes. Wasn't really ever for me. I was more of a Naruto kid growing up. Um, but even then, like, I didn't really stick with Naruto all that long. I I do like anime though. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist is still one of my more favorite ones. Um, anything from Studio Ghibli, of course, go to for sure. What do you mean by fraternity name? Um, so when you pledge a fraternity or a sorority, they give you like like a birth name, kind of like a, like a code name. Oh, did I? <laughs> I was I was actually on my land for once, and I messed up and passed out outside of my. I haven't slept in my bed once. This is the third night in a row I've just passed out on the floor. Um, yeah, anyway, so, like, when you rush or uh, pledge a fraternity or sorority, they give you, like, a code name, like, like a fraternity name um, to go by. It's part of, like, the whole, like, unity, brotherhood kind of thing. Um, yeah, and that's, there's, there's really not much else to it other than that, really. Yeah. I don't know. Kind of that, like some, some Animal House stuff. Your favorite anime is Helsing. Okay, okay. What about, uh, what about Trigun? What about that? What about, uh... Gosh, Helsing. Some old stuff. Well, like Inuyasha? Some, uh... Akira, maybe? I know some older stuff. Personally, I- Oh, it's raining. Oh, that waters my crops. Wonderful. Personally, I go for, like, more of the- the newer stuff. Um, I like a lot of, like, the Studio Jump. Uh, or, uh... Shogun Jump? What is it? I- I can't remember right now. But, like, the newer, like, bigger animes. Um... I don't know if I want to chop down this one, it's pink. Yeah, it's coming down. Um, yeah, like, uh, Dr. Stone, I'm really into right now. Dr. Stone's coming out with a new season soon, very exciting. Um, what else? Overlord? I don't know if you've seen Overlord, but it's, uh, also coming out with the new season pretty soon here. Also very exciting. I watch pretty much a lot of anime. My go-to anime is probably, um, uh, Isekais. You know, like, you die and you get reincarnated in, like, some sort of, like, slime body or, like, parallel world. I really like that stuff. Very cool. Um, anything with magic in it, I'm typically down for. The issue with Isekais, though, is that I feel like... They're very easy to fall in love with, and it's like, oh, ha, you only get one season, and then we're canceling it. You're not super into anime? I, I get that. To each their own. Um, Undead Unlock. Um... I'm 
not sure about that one. I don't think I've heard of that one. I mean, it kind of sounds familiar, but... I mean, there's so much out there right now. But yeah, honestly, like if I'm not watching YouTube, I'm usually watching some sort of anime. Um, what was I do? Bridge. Let's go right and then up here. Because I should have enough wood for that now. I still don't know how to get stone. I probably have to buy a pickaxe somewhere. Oh, there's a blacksmith, isn't there? I can probably buy a pick from the blacksmith. Are you... you're up more. Nope. Right here. Boom. Awesome. Wood's done. I just need 60 stone. And hopefully... I can get that... by tomorrow, because it's already Thursday. Tomorrow's gonna be Friday. If I can get this bridge completed and not miss a, a Saturday, like, a uh, farmer's market thing, that would be really cool. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, though. I might miss the first one. It's on Hulu. It's a little romance, some comedy, some bloody fights. I do like all of that. I do like all of that. Are these done? Oh, I can't steal. Okay. I mean, that would be wrong. <laughs> um, where am I going? So this is the inn. What is this building? This is the general store? Everyone's shopping today. Okay. Can I buy a pickaxe? Oh. Shovel. Bag upgrade actually might be really nice. Watering can, hoe. Oh, a worn hoe. You and me both. Um, let's see. Rock salt. But no pickaxe. I think I need a pickaxe. Hey, what do you have here? Oh, I can't read that. I work part time at the general store. I hope you'll stop by when you can. That's. I'm I'm here. I'm I'm here now, dude. If no one's at the counter, you can just leave your tr uh, tessere. How do you say that? Tessere, on the counter. Between you and me, you do not want to be on the debt to Nora. Okay, fair, fair. Ah, Zeep. Hope you're not spending your early days here overworking yourself. Now all time has to be spent productively. Leisure is good for you. I got crops, man. I got crops. Uh, man, I wish I could build a whole bridge with zero experience with 60 rock and 66. I'm gonna have to screenshot Warren Ho later. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, you can, uh, I suppose you can make a clips. I don't know how clips work, but I suppose you could do one of those clip things. Oh. Use some medicine. I suppose, uh, my Discord does have a memes page now. As well. What are you? A trap door to the basement, it's locked. Alright. You have a diary? Valine's diary. Better leave it alone. I, I, hmm. I want to snoop. Okay, what's up here? Okay. I'm on a mission. I'm not sure what my mission is. Uh, blacksmith. Wait, no. J. 
Chicken man. Nothing's labeled. Oh, this is going to be my downfall for sure. Is this the inn? I don't know what this is. This is the general store. This is the inn. Is this the blacksmith? Doesn't look like a blacksmith. Here's the witch. Cool. Your character draws a line at snooping. Yeah, it's not fair. It's not fair. I mean, personally, I'm a very nosy person, right? Store's locked. Like, I, I hate to admit it, but I think part of the reason why I love garage sales so much is the ability to just, like, go through someone else's stuff. And that might be a little bit of a character flaw, um, but that's who I am. I, I'm a nosy person. Like, if I go to someone's house and, like, use their bathroom... I'm not saying that I do this, but, like... You know, there's there's a level of, uh... Of restraint to not go through their medicine cabinet, you know? Like, that would be an insane thing to do. Only crazy people would do that, but, like... You, you know? You, it's right there. You could learn a lot from someone from what's in their medicine cabinet. <laughs> I don't do that. Hmm? I don't know. I'm just vibing, man. Is this the blacksmith? Does, does the blacksmith have a party going on? I don't know this town. Nothing's labeled. I have the memory of a brain dead goldfish over here. I played a game yesterday, um, uh, it'll be uploaded tomorrow, I believe, where, like, the whole premise of it is, like, it's a memory game, like, slash escape room, it's like, oh, this is the worst, I'm never gonna beat this game. <laughs> impulse control is important, I, I have impulse control, I don't go through people's medicine cabinet, but I want to. I really want to. Like, it's right there. Okay, yeah, I'll talk to you. I don't really care. You're moody. Farm coming along? Oh, it's coming. Okay, where am I? Where am I going? Okay, beach dude. Chicken dude. Um, museum. That must be be the blacksmith right there? Homeless man. Linus. Right. Everyone's at the tavern. Everyone's having a good time right now, and I'm just... I'm just looking for pickaxe. Okay, it's already eight. I've spent my first three nights on... I think, I think my brain just didn't register as this, this is a building for some reason. Um, you know, you know, the building with the giant anvil out front. Oh, there's crafting in this game. Of course there is. Cool. Um, I want... Oh, you just got laid out like this. Display tools are lined up for sale. Cool. Um, let me let me buy a thousand. This feels like an upgraded weapon. A copper pickaxe can break big rocks and can be charged to strike three tiles in a row. Can I just get like a basic one? Like, I don't need, like, a copper one. I think, just plain and simple, I think I'm missing something here. I gotta be. Yeah. 
<laughs> Fiesta, you drive by... Uh, you drive by Carlos and think about keying cars? I've keyed a car before. It's... it's very satisfying. Don't do it. It gets you in trouble. It gets you in big trouble. I've done it. Um... Oh, the things you learn on the chill streams. I'm just an open book and it's terrifying. Um... Oh, hey, what am I doing? I guess I, I go to the tavern because everyone's there right now. I can just talk to them quick. And then, uh, skadoodle. Skadoodle back home. Hey, backstory. I don't really care about. Oh, hi. Oh, you just sparkled. Oh, I should have read that. I wish I was half shark. Be half kraken? That's pretty cool. Okay, well... Once I upload this, for sure I'm gonna go back and rewatch that part and figure out what they said. I know you only just moved into town, but I was hoping you could keep an eye out for Celine since you're just down the road. She only recently moved to her town, uh, to her own place, and the mother worries. Oh, royal dinner, and then a royal sleep. That's what Queen Maple wants. Uh, I have no berries for you, child. I'm sorry. Have you met my darling Eland and uh, Adeline? I'm their great aunt. Well, not by blood. Okay. Some of us are simply born aunties, you see. Alright, there's a lot of you. I'm hungry and sleepy. Oh. Like a sleepy, hungry cat pulled. You should eat, child. I think we're past dinner time. Good evening. Okay, cool. Come in from the cold and... Uh, come in from the cold a while. I put in the mint and the chamomile. Hope you're enjoying the performance, see? Don't stop for me. You can dig up artifacts with a pickaxe and a, or a shovel. Either one works great. I don't have either, unfortunately. Thank you. How's the soil quality of the old farm, Zeep? Those fields have been... fallow a good long while. I bet they're raring for some crops. Hey, you. How are you liking the town so far? Let me know if you need anything. I'm sure you'll get settled in no time. Ah, itchy eye. Hmm. I was just thinking about... Uh... I was just thinking now that we're neighbors. We should get to know each other better, right? Yeah. You have an air of mystery about you, Zeep. Air of mystery. That's me. Oh, townsfolk. Yep, turn in. You finished meeting everyone in town? That's wonderful. Congratulations on completing the first request. Here's your reward. You know, I really uh, kind of want a pickaxe. Potato seeds, this popular spring crop, can be harvested once. Neat. Mystery of prides itself on being welcoming, so don't be shy about saying hello to your neighbors. Everyone's so excited to see someone new around town. Oh wait, 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 let me go, let me go back. Okay. Food's kinda pricey. Oh, but 28. That's about how much uh, energy and health I lose every single night for not ever sleeping. So, uh, maybe that's worthwhile. Okay, so that's 10 and 10. 175. The soup is so much better. Oh, oh, soup. Wait, I want soup. Uh, today's flavor is potato soup. Yes. I will always take the free soup. 100%, hands down. Good soup. Okay, I have more energy to chop down more trees. You have a lot of views on your YouTube? 
just shy of 6 million. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. Like, I... I don't have anywhere near that. I'm not even sure how many views I have. Probably a hundred thousand. So I have I have some videos that like really pop off that get like around a thousand views. And then I have most of them which get around uh twenty to a hundred. Big difference. But yeah, that's pretty impressive though. I don't dare go negative. I'll leave Ezra. And look at this, we're gonna sleep in the bed. Yeah. Just lyric videos. <laughs> well, thank you, I appreciate it. Um. Yeah, creating content. Yeah, it's a weird thing to think about like that. I mean, it's fun. I enjoy it a lot. Um, huh. Yeah. Wild to even think about. Sold items, 34. Cool, cool. And dollar dollar bills, y'all. New reward available in the rewards chest next to the request board. Is that a cloak? Is that a hood, perhaps? Oh, is that Friday night at the inn? Oh, it's Friday night. Oh, we're gonna be party in. Okay, okay, I see you. Potato seed, um... Is it spring? It's spring, right? I feel like it's spring. Let me, uh, yep. It's definitely spring. Oh, and it's, uh, Rias' birthday. Should find him a flower or something, I think. Friday at the Sleeping Dragon Inn. Hey, Zeep. Mystery has a tradition where everyone gathers at the Sleeping Dragon Inn on Friday nights. That's tonight, and this is your invitation. Meet me at the inn after 6 p.m. tonight. Keep me company, and I'll throw in a free drink. Reyna. Okay, cool. Sounds like a good time to me, honestly. I'm all about that. Like a party with the entire town? Like, yeah, why not? Some crops going. We don't have any crops planned for this area yet, but like since we're here, we may as well just clear out the area a little bit more. In fact, we can just sell this uh this fiber as well. Since we currently don't have a use for it, it's probably for the best just to sell. I put my axe away, of course. We go now I don't need my hoe don't need my watering can axe might be useful let's grab the lot let's grab all of this honestly and go turn some stuff into the museum since we're here can I remember where the museum is though that's the question. Oh, berries. Cool. Should be able to sell these. I hope at least. Um, without looking at the map, the museum is this way, right? Me playing crab is part of your core memories with your kid? That's... that's incredible, actually. That is... 
That's really wild to me. I mean, I love it, don't get me wrong, but like... Huh. That feels good. Thank you, actually. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, like, I play games just because, like, I play games all the time, right? Um, but, like, I like... I like making friends. I like... Ha being entertainment for other people. I've always been, like, that person that, like, likes to make jokes and... and entertain others, I suppose. I'm a social butterfly at heart, you know? Ooh, I unlocked new rewards. But yeah, no, I really appreciate that. I'm part of your core memory. That's... That's absolutely wild to me. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Oh, fresh foraging set. Cool, cool. Let's see. So, how do I get that thing? I got an award. Did that just go into my inventory, perhaps? It did. Let's open this thing up. Corn seed. And 150 coin. Or is it worth 150? I'll have to look into that. Summer crop. Okay. So once this reaches maturity, every three days you can harvest. Neat. Unlock cosmetic. Farmer's cap. Cool. Uh, I will never. I will never wear a... Uh, a build hat. Wild. Algorithm sent crab while you were postpartum in bed with newborn. It was chill and cozy. The mess I was in at the time. That's really cool. That's really cool. Thank you so much. For like everything, really. I... You're part of my Patreon group, so I mean, if 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 you have any like suggestions on other games that I play, I mean, I know that I take suggestions openly, but since you're part of the Patreon group, like your suggestion gets bumped above other people's. I think that's I think that's fair, right? Also, I think that kind of goes against what I literally said about the whole Patreon thing about how everyone's on equal terms. Hmm. We'll have to workshop that a bit. But if you have any other uh, game suggestions, uh, because Crab is probably coming to an end pretty soon here. I'm pretty close to the end. Uh, I'll gladly take any suggestions. Oh, March. Oh, that little brat. Imagine you're very busy getting situated. I have wanted to ask. If you had a chance to see... It, Mistria off to the off the beaten path. There are ruins and artifacts to be found everywhere. This land is rich with history. Can't say I have. There's some stuff over here I haven't even checked out yet. Up here, yeah. I can't go here. I think this this part was blocked. Cooking companions. What what cooking companions exactly? Like is that like a game in itself that I'm just not aware of? Um because there there is a large genre of like cooking style of games, so like Cooking Mama, there's There's Chef RPG, which is basically this game, but you're a chef. So I kinda wanna do like one at a time, like beat this game first and then do a different like open work like farming sim like that I'm so happy you've taken care of the old farm Zeep uh, it was long neglected I can't wait to see what you do with it oh wait there's a town board isn't there do I know how to get back to that Sit down here. 
Or is it down there? Visual novel. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, psychological horror game. Visual novel. Oh, wait, no, I did look into that. Yeah, um... I might have to do that then. Purse of Treasuria. Tesseria. I need to figure out how to say that word. Uh, cool. Money. Adventures Hood. Cool. Do I have the customization menu? I do. Yeah, I'll don a hood. Never mind, hoods are lame. Uh, witch's hats are in right now. Okay, where's the hood? The hood's okay. Hijab. Cool, cool. I mean, like, everyone, everyone has a hood, right? But, like... That's a witch's hat, my dude. Oh! Oh, look at me. Oh, I love this game. Do bro a favor. Cool. Uh, talk to Orlik. That's how you get the pickaxe. Cool. Uh, bring Snowdrop and a moan to Elise. I don't have that. Something's bugging me, okay. Meet Luke. Luck. Juniper. Lila. I have I, I have that on me right now. Um where is Lilac? Up two houses. I can't cut across, okay. Um I have Lilac on me. I'll do that one right now. Although the bug net, very intriguing as well. Hello. Turn in. Well, well. Adeline's little request board scheme actually works. I'm impressed. Now follow me. Yes, yes, ma'am. What are you little gremlins doing here? We're following that smell. That super gross smell. Lilac is amazing. What are you talking about? If I knew bass could make you smell like this, I wouldn't try to avoid them. It's like stink armor. Which in the cauldron isn't for bath, it's for a health tonic. With one sip, you'll be instantly refreshed. No one is going to drink that if it tastes as bad as it smells. Ah, but I have yet to add the final ingredient. Zeep, if you would. There we are. That unfortunate smell has cleared right up. Don't you agree? Ye ooh, <sighs> yes, see. The thing with the lilac is it's a uh, fragrant flower. It's like a perfumey thing, you know. I don't think I want to eat it, right? Like it's like like people put rose in stuff, but like rose isn't tasty. It's not like Sweet and delicious. Smells like fresh fertilizer or smells like an old wet sock. Neither of these are good. I mean, this is literally poop. So, uh, old wet sock it is. Well, obviously, improvement. An obvious improvement. Now, who to test it on? Oh, me, me. Well, I admire your enthusiasm, Del. I think we should reward the intrepid adventurer who retrieved the final ingredient. That sounds awful. Don't do that. Why would I do that? Why am I doing this? Cool. <laughs> Same kid. Cool. Hmm. 
Very interesting. The lilac appears to be inverted the potion's intended effect. Sleep doesn't look too good. We should get Doc Valent. Ah, there's no need to get that woman involved. Here now, Zeep. Why don't you toddle off to the bath? It's on me. Alright, I think I was just assaulted. Oh, that's what she should do. She just should just bottle her bath water. Yeah, and sell it. Juniper bath water. There we go. New uh, new business venture right there. And see, kids, right as rain. And to make sure there's no lingering effects, your next five bathhouse visits are freezy. Okay. Seems like a lot, but okay. Who would ever want to take that man's that many baths? Yuck. Thank you again for your assistance, Seep. I'll be sure to call on you again in the future. Now, why don't you all scoot out of here? I need to do a post experiment right up. Are you sure? We could help you come up with lots of ways to describe how bad it smells. Hot garbage. Dog burps. You support me because you got lots of my content from me. You like supporting my ideas. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, I mean, my content's out there for free. Um, but, like, really, I deeply appreciate it. Um, what was I doing? Wait, is the child still in there? Because, wait, he, I have a quest for him. Bugs are involved. I don't think he's in here anymore. Unless he's taken a bath. No, you're you're the adult. The sweet sound of silence. Ah. Have you made any friends yet? Nope, not a one. My nephew Rias also moved here pretty recently. Bet you two would get along the house. Get on like a house on fire. What a strange phrase. I hate that. Wait, wait. Is this another door? This is not a... This doorway leads to the bath. But you need to pay the front desk before you can go in. Wait, did this bath cost money? But this one doesn't? I don't know how bathhouses work, quite frankly. Let's see here. Where's the kid? All these pixels kind of look the same. Like, they're not very detailed, you know? Um, I think it's... Is it... It's this one. It's the nerd of the glasses, right? Eh? Down one. Oh, and it's Friday night. I have to remember to go to the, the end. You, nerd. Hide and seek is a little different when Maple's hiding. She doesn't really hide, she just commands us not to look at her. I see you looking, Zeep. Um. Wait, can I not talk to you? I. Do I have to talk to him at the inn? I think the in is the qualifying term that I'm skipping past here. Weirdest dream ever. Yeah. It's not sand, is it, buddy? <laughs> How are we doing, Harlock? I don't have any stone yet. I don't even have a pickaxe. Um, let's see... I want the pickaxe. Talk to Orlik. Which one is... Is Orlik just working at the... Uh, yeah, that's him right there. Good, good to hear. Wait, shit, was that Orlik? Who are you? Uh, I don't care about you. 
Is he prepped up your chores for the day already? I gotta get a hustle on. Don't want to be late for the inn tonight. Chores. Oh, uh, my crops. Right. Haven't watered a single one of those yet. Oh, Lord. Ellen will be thrilled that you're supporting the museum. The Mysteria Historical Society is indebted to you. You just started, buddy. You. Thanks for returning my request. Zeep. Now, where did I put that pickaxe? Oh, we're just inside your, uh, your shop now. Ah, here we are. Wow, you're incredibly... I don't... The museum curator has this dude beat. No, no way, dude. Aha, I just helped out around here. I actually used to be a miner. Then the earthquake hit. The earthquake hit. And we had to close the mines. Your mines? If you want to know more about the mines, you should talk to Errol. He used to be in the mines foreman, but now he's a, our museum curator. I respect him a lot. He's a wa he's way chiseled. Oh yeah, dude is fucking ripped. Oh, that's right. I want to give you my old pickaxe. Breaking rocks is a great way of getting toned. It's a little old, but it should be strong enough to break some small rocks. If you want a stronger pickaxe, you'll have to forge it or buy one from us here. I'm glad you'll be putting this one to good use. These days, I help my little bro march around our family forge. He's a great blacksmith, but, uh, he's a little, well, not, like, great with other people. Yeah, dude's, uh, dude's pretty, pretty edgy. Edge Lord McGee. Oh, thanks, Arlock. See you later. I'll probably be on sand tomorrow if you want to see him up. Arlock, are you out here? I need, uh, what are you doing here? Hi, March. There's that. I'll enjoy your chit chat with my brother, but try not to waste too much of his time. Or like, come to my room when you're done. I need to look over a blueprint. Aha. Uh -huh. Sorry. He doesn't mean it. So, um, as for my favor, if you could like, give March a chance, that'd be way cool of you. He doesn't have a lot of friends. I'll talk to you later, Zeep. He seems like a nice kid. Nice enough kid. Uh, cool. Pickaxe. So, okay, it's, it's all—it's only three. So I gotta go talk to the uh, museum curator, who isn't in his post. Is that him? I think that's him right there. I want to learn more about these mines. Oh, it's already 3 p.m. on a Friday. I'm going to miss the uh, the Saturday market for sure. There's no way I'm going to make that. And then it was all like whoosh and then bizzed and I was like wham. Oh, amazing. Zeep, you came. Are you ready to become an entomologist? <laughs> it means someone who studies insects. I, I'm an adult. Yeah, that's what I do. There are a lot of cool bugs in Mysteria. And Mr. Errol at the museum agreed to have a whole wing dedicated to them. I'm so excited. So are we. Until now, Luke's been bringing all his friends back to his room. But it's a good job. It's a big job. Being the only entomologist in Mysteria. Will you join me? I've got to catch them all. Absolutely. 100% no. That's what I like to hear. Well, I gave you my old net. It's brought me lots of luck over the years. But I think it's time. To pass it on to a new generation of bug catchers. I'm older than you. I'm definitely older than you. Is that how generations work? Look at that form. 
Don't forget to bring any new bugs you find to Errol at the museum. Please don't bring them here. Be sure to tell me about the neat bugs you find, Zeep. I think the pacing of the day is off. It's really fast, right? Like, the days are really, really fast. I got bug net, at least. Um, I don't think I watered my crops today, though. So let me go home. Let me water some crops. Crops are watered. Okay, I'm, I'm good there. Corn is next season. I can open that now. Uh, let's actually leave that out, just in case. I don't know what I need. I wanted to uh, destroy some rocks. Oh, no. Okay, so what's the pickup radius? Was that like three-ish blocks away? About three energy to destroy a rock. Maybe? Just maybe. Unlikely. But maybe if I'm lucky, I might be able to get 60 rocks today. I kind of really doubt it, though. I do have food on me, though. And I can get free food at the end. Not like a ton of free food, but like... 30 energy worth? That's, what, 10 rocks? Let's see. That's just one energy each. Oh, that's not going to be enough. It's already seven. Oh, are you a bug? Yeah. Redhead worm, an uncommon worm found in the seasons, but all seasons but winter. Found when breaking rocks. Neat. I found a worm. Okay, but like, uh, if I was a worm, would, would you guys still watch me? You know? It's a good question. Then the answer might be no. I don't know, personally. Would you watch a worm stream? <laughs> Uh, oh, it's already eight, so gotta go back to the inn, gotta do some party party. I can get free stew, can I? Have I seen Midnight Gospel? Yeah. Yeah. I have seen Midnight Gospel. I'm not really a huge fan. Um, like, I like some of it, but, like, a lot of it's, like, too, like, psyche, crystal, like, hippie for me, I guess. I mean, like, to each their own, and, like, I'm not gonna, like, trash anyone's opinion, but, like, it's kind of out there for me. A character looks like Clancy. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It's the hat. Yeah. These other folks in their games. I like to really sit with a drink and appreciate it. You know what I mean? 
Landon, I, I know exactly what you mean. That's a dark, dark drink. What am I drinking? Castle Danger. George Hunt. George Hunter Stout. Ooh. Eight percent. That's the stuff. Certainly. Better to turn your senses to one thing and give it attention it deserves. Isn't that right, young March? Zeep, come here. Come here. <laughs> March, well, what's up, buddy? I'll let you in on a secret. You're not so bad. <laughs> oh, what was I saying again? Oh my. It seems our young blacksmith is a bit of a lightweight. It's because he's drinking the cheap stuff. Just like you, Valen. Having no palate is nothing to be ashamed of. Here, try, try some of the wine, you'll see. I suppose you've had plenty of time to refine your taste. But as a doctor, I simply can't recommend drinking at home alone. That's fair. A girl can't get a little sloppy on a Monday night. <laughs> this is why you have a reputation of being stiff, Balin. I have a reputation. Come here and sit with me, Z. This, These girls are fighting. What fun. I love this place. I love this bar. Of course you drink beer, cheese head. I moved to Wisconsin like three years ago. Don't, don't, don't you, don't you start with that. I still root for the Vikings, you know, they've never won a Super Bowl, but like, you know, Skull. Keep up with it. I drink anything, really. Beer's just easy. Sometimes I can't tell if those two are friends or enemies. I suppose it isn't too important as long as they can share a drink. I can buy drinks, can I? So, if I go here... Milk. Ah, yes. A round of milk for everyone, please. Beer. Beer's cheap. Beer's a hundred. That's actually not that cheap. I'll buy two beers. And then... Where's that kid? You. What? Are you trying to butter me up with food I like? Do you like this? We'll give it here. I'll take it. So it worked. Can I not talk to you again? Okay, bummer. Um, if we go to our love diary, because this is what this is, um, can't, you can't tell me otherwise. We go to this moody little fuck. Like gifts, beer? All right, he likes beer. Shocker. Um, you. I bet you like beers. Oh, don't. Uh. Well, isn't this nice? I don't think she liked that. I'll be honest, I don't think she liked it. Who's that? Elise. I'm glad that my, my stream is delayed by a few seconds so I can, like, quick look over there and and see what's up. Uh, Elise, where are we? Right here. She did not like that. Okay. Well. Now we know. I have a bug. Wait. Uncommon worm, but I can't donate it to the museum. So you know, you know, I know a little shit that likes a, I mean a, a, a young scholar that likes worms. He might be in bed. Give me a second. Literally, everyone's here. I wish time didn't move so fast here. Psst, see, don't let anyone see you. The coast is clear. Now before we tell you anything, you have to pinky swear you won't tell anyone. 
because we're playing a heist. Luck is in the brain. Luck is the brains. Dell's the brawn. I'm the face. And you're the courier, Zeep. And our target is... Mr. Bellore. His secrets, more precisely, why does he always keep his door locked? Is it because we keep trying to go in there uninvited? We're going to find out. Meet us here next week, Zeep. Alright. Hey, kid. You like bugs? Thank you. Wait. Wait, wait, just a thank you? I gave you a bug. You love bugs. Scammed. That's, that kid just scammed me. <laughs> They're simulated, ah, that's fair. That you call it the Fleet Farm too? All these kids' names are related to trees, are they? Oh. Interesting. No, I, I've actually only been to Fleet Farm once. Yeah. That's not like a big thing for me. I bought a pair of uh, hunting bibs from Fleet Farm. That's about it. Yeah. Some orange just uh, snow pants. It's the farm and fleet. What? No. What? No, it's it's fleet farm. What? What are you talking about? Right there. Fleet farm. What do you mean farm and fleet? What are you talking about? The business was owned by two brothers who split. I don't know. I, I, you're, you're on something else. I, I, ah, it's always been fleet farm. <laughs> don't, don't you, don't you do that to me. <laughs> Um, welcome to our inaugural season of Dragons and Drama. Dragons and Drama? I'll be str uh, striving to provide a historical accurate experience, but if I slip on any details, please speak up. I wrote a backstory for my character, Zeep. She's a druid and she can talk to flowers and she loves nature. But I don't get what to do with all these numbers. Are we doing a D and D thing? Is my only D and D campaign gonna be in this game? Follow my lead, Celine. I said all these useless stats to one, so my my mind stat can be sixty-seven. That's not how that works. Which you would think isn't possible for a starter character, but if you look at the rule section one hundred seven, paragraph two, you'll see that. Adeline is the worst, is is what I'll see. Whew, Adeline sure does know her stuff. Look here, Zeep. I'm whittling some, out some uh, miniatures for the game. You, you also paint the miniatures, that's important. This is Celine's druid, Daff, Daffodilia. And this is Adeline's wizard, Moonsilver. I bet is 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 Moon Silver also a um uh like canthropy? Is he a werewolf? Werewolf wizard? That'd be cool. And this is Balor's thief, Snickle Fritz. Me? I'm Bad Brad, the bearded bard. Please call call him by his full name. Ah. Uh. Is this what I get for arriving late to the card table? I have no idea what's going on or why everyone keeps calling me Snickle Fritz. Did you not make your own character, my my dude? 
What's going on here? Hit me. Oh, she sounds pretty confident. Don't you think, Rias? <laughs> Wish I could say. I just deal the cards, man. I'm in for 50 more Tessiri. Oh, that bluff won't work on me. Are you quite certain you don't need any more cards, Nora? Are you sh sure you don't need any more cards, Errol? Now, now, let's keep it friendly. No need to get worked up. Hey guys, we're kind of good, right? Or should I hold out for five of a kind, guys? Love it. Oh, haven't talked to you yet. Wait, let me go. Let me go back. Ilian <laughs> has been ta uh, talking about this game of his for weeks. I hope the others are excited as he is. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, whoop. Oh. Oh, yes, I'm here. Yes, turn that in. You made it. What did I tell you? It's a full house. Why don't you go around and see what everyone's up to? Oh, and here's your free drink. Mixed fruit juice. Love it. Cool. Can I talk to you still? The inn is so full. This is what I call a successful night. Thanks for coming by and uh, being part of it, see? Oh, of course, yeah. Oh, I can make stuff. Oh, I need to find sugar. I can make jam. Ooh. Oh, back to Fleet Farm. So all the ones in Illinois are called the Farm and Fleet. And ones north of here are called Fleet Farm. To distinguish between them. That's wild. I actually did not know that. Huh. Wild. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I. I don't know any other, like, distinct things that we do. I mean, I do hot dish and casserole. Uh, that's a big big debate right there by some people like I mean personally like there's some things that are a hot dish and some things that are a casserole right like tuna tuna shouldn't be a hot dish tuna is a casserole right but like tater tot that's a hot dish you know obvious things hot tuna although delicious it just sounds bad, you know? So, uh, tuna casserole. I got rocks. I need more rocks. It's almost 2 a.m. Okay, it's 1 a.m. I mean, I got like a whole hour of, of rock stuff to do. Let me, let me go near my bed and do rock stuff over there. Wow, yeah, it's already 120. Yeah, the time sure does fly. Way too fast. Can I, can I do another rock? One four. I'm not gonna risk it. Not gonna risk it. Time's too fast. Going to bed. <laughs> They're all casseroles. Blasphemy, I make. Tater tot casserole. No, you are wrong. You make tater tot hot dish. Because it's a dish. It, it comes out hot. It's hot and ready to eat. It's a hot dish. It's what it is. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's a hot dish. <laughs> New reward available. Oh, at the rewards quest, next to the request board. How cool. <laughs> Oh, another new reward. Cool. Uh, a pile of dirt. Oh, God, I'm so good at this game. I got money, too. Oh. Oh, stop it, you guys. Oh, new pair of pants. Oh. I wanted that to keep on going, though. That's a shame. Eh. Oh, well. 
Oh, I got mail. Reopening the mines. I need your help with something important. Please meet myself. And curator Errol and the museum west of town to discuss the reopening of the mines. Meet my... I don't like myself. That should be me and curator Errol. Yeah, I don't love... I don't love that phrasing, but, you know. So be it. I read Homestuck, you know. I'm used to weird spellings and stuff. Dozy absolutely insisted that I send you an extra token of a apology for nearly knocking you off of my experimental potion yesterday. Here's a magical object that you might find useful if you can figure out what it does. Oh ho ho. Weather crystal ball. Does it tell me the weather? Furniture. Oh, please go inside the house. Oh, is this my, uh, my TV? An image formed in the crystal ball. Tomorrow there will be a thunderstorm. Tomorrow I don't need to water the crops. Meet me at the bag toss hoser. <laughs> you mean cornhole? <laughs> I'm sorry, I uh, I can't quite understand your uh, your your uh, your speech impediment, there, friend. What I what what's bag toss? You mean you mean cornhole? Clearly, clearly you're mistaken. Hoser? What are you, Canadian now? Wait. Oh, I can just straight up harvest you. Turn up! Oh, that's some good money right there. That's some 40 gold for a turn up? Yeah, 100% I'm going to sell two turnips. That's 80 coin right there. This free drink is 50. I'm going to give to that uh, that twink that works at the uh, blacksmith. Yeah. So, let's see here. I need more rock. I need a lot more rock. Boom, boom, boom. If I can get 60 rock, I wonder if we can build the bridge today and still make it to the Saturday market. That's really kind of what I'm thinking here. Um, I'm not sure if I can even get 60 rock today. Um, it's only 9 a.m. though, so we'll see. Oh, I should be able to get 60, no problem. I'm pretty much there. Oh, did I just level up? Is that what that was? I think I leveled, leveled up in mining. Cool, 60 rock, let's go. Gotta be fast, though. Oh, I don't need my wildering. I got so much stuff on me right now. Um, uh, probably don't need a uh, watering can. Um, I guess I'll do that. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. My inventory might look full, but, um, eh, so be it. right here, right? Oh, hello, sir. Love Friday nights at the end. It's so nice to see everyone relaxing. Yeah. A thoughtful strike with a pickaxe is a great way to move any furniture. 
you have placed. Wonder who figured out you could do that in the first place. That's an insane thing to say outside of the context of this being a video game. You don't do that in real life, that's how you destroy furniture. Oh, I figured Minnesota, Canada, same thing, both pretty damn north. You want to talk about pretty damn north. I went to college up in Bemidji. That's basically Canada. That's like as far north as you can be without going to Canada. That's really, really north. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, go beavers. <laughs> Where, where am I? Am I lost? What is lost? Here's a bridge. Boom. Bridge is done. Magic bridge. Make yourself. That's probably a tomorrow project, right? Wait, is that? That, ache, that pine cone was still there from last time I chopped down that tree. Do items just not despawn? Oh, you went whale watching in Seattle once? I think I... I might have too. Now that I think about it. A few summer ago, I did a gig in a small hospital called... Veroqua. Veroqua. Sounds French. Veroqua. About as north as I've been. Yeah, I've been everywhere, dude. Um, I've been to 49 states. Um, I haven't been to Hawaii yet. Uh, in fact, uh, actually, still, okay, it still kind of upsets me, but, like, I get it, I get it. So, like, it was my mom's thing that she wanted to hit 50 states by age 50. Um, so we went traveling as a family to, like, 49 states, motor home for, like, 48 of them. Um, took a cruise to Alaska for our most recent state. And then after our one week cruise through like the, um, the outskirts of Alaska, we rented a motorhome and then spent another week touring the interior of Alaska. Well, my mom and my dad celebrated my mom's, uh, like their, their anniversary in Hawaii without the three of us kids. So my mom hit off the uh, 50 states by 50 goal. And uh, I still haven't been in Hawaii. So that's, I get it. Like, do your thing, but like, you know, it would be nice. Zeep, thank you for joining us. I hope you haven't roped Zeep into your schemes, uh, Meland. Uh, what's this about? I believe the time has come to discuss reopening the mines. Eland. With all due respect, I believe we should focus on the museum. We don't have the workforce to reopen the mines in a commercial capacity, whereas the museum is drawing interest from as far as capital already. I believe it is the, sur the surest way to raise Mystria's renown. Which should be our top priority. We are in agreement that the museum should be our focus, Errol. However, with the arrival of Zeeb, I believe we now have the perfect person to begin exploring the mines. Shipments of war would be invaluable to the town, and there are surely incredible artifacts just waiting to be discovered in the depths. Weren't the mines condemned after the earthquake? Eh? Huh? <laughs> they sure were. That's reassuring. No rewards without risk, eh? Well, I appreciate the enthusiasm. I simply can't approve of a reopening at this time. Structural damage or seams slippage. The elevator has stopped working. Ooh, there's an elevator. Every five levels, probably. And I've been hearing strange sounds from below.
we're just gonna glaze right past that. Surely you're not keeping the mind shut over some eerie sounds, Errol. Er, I would be happy to reconvenience on the matter. When Mystery's town rank has reached at least Stone Star rank, if that would satisfy you two. I can see there's no budging you, Errol. Well, at least we have a goal in sight, Zeep. Turning in items for museum sets, completing requests, and shipping items are all ways that you can help raise Mystria's renown. Let's get to it. The mines will be reopened in no time. I'm glad to see you so enthused, Eland. Alright, so I just gotta get the town renowned stone. Cool. Speaking of which... As a representative of Mystria, it's my responsibility to get you orientated. So if you have any questions, please ask my sister Adeline. <laughs> it's my job to get you orientated, so if you have any questions, go somewhere else. Unless you're looking for the best suites in town, then I'm your man. Hey, I found a turnip. I made it. About as north as I've been... It's like 45 minutes south of La Crosse. Okay, yeah, I did go to college in uh, Winona, so I know exactly where La Crosse is. I love La Crosse, actually. La Crosse is a really nice town. Um, you have a really good hoo hot there. 45 minutes south of La Crosse is the northmost that you've been. Ooh. Yeah, I'm very north. Um, yeah, Alaska is the northest I've been. Um, I was a full 100 miles from the Arctic Circle in Alaska. That's so how far north I've been. Very bright up there. Oh, so this must be the mines. Yeah, so like... We went to Alaska during the summer, so during the summer it's like 24 hours a day. Not exactly, it's more like 23 hours of day. Like, like you watch like the sun on the horizon, it's like it goes up, and then it kind of goes down, and then it goes back up again. It's really obnoxious. I had to sleep with a sleep mask on, like in the motorhome, like it's, uh, I don't like perpetual daytime it's it's a lot i don't think i could do perpetual nighttime either though same reason like i, I like a variety you know like i like i like seasons um i hate winter uh surprisingly enough winter is the worst but like i love fall so like i wish i could get like fall weather like most of the time and then just like skip over the super hot summer. I just want I just want spring and fall like twenty four seven. I think I think that would be nice. Ah, there's that fresh face. Oh, the town is treating you well. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Can I steal your flowers? No. Still no. Rude. Oh, wait, job board. Request for shards. I'm seeking some shards as part of my archaeological research. They can be often unearthed at dig sites. If you come across any, could you bring me some? You bet. Sure, sure can. My inventory is like full. Let me... Let me open these quick. Then I'll be right with you. 150 gold. We're, we're unlock cosmetic. A jerkin. I like a scarf. I'm not really sure what a jerkin is. You a jerkin my chain? Uh, 
Oh. The shirt. Cool. I have a jerkin now. Uh, let's see. I do have other quests too, don't I? Wait, pants? What? Sure. That looks cool. I like the texture. Um, repair the bridge. Adeline. Uh, pink hair. Where... Where are you? Where's my map? Far north. Okay. Uh, it's already six, though. I highly doubt I'll be able to do the, uh... The Saturday market today, even if the bridge repair is like instantaneous, you know. I think I botched that one a little bit. Adeline, hey, turn in. Hey there, Zeep. What's up? I've gathered the stuff to repair the bridge. That's great news. Come on, let's go tell everyone. It's time. Let's get this bridge repaired. Nice work, Zeep. Now it's my turn. Just let us know how we can help. Do bridge stuff. Okay. Are we done, Rias? Feels like we're done. We sure are. This bridge is going to last a long, long time. Unless, of course, there's an earthquake. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> great job, everyone. I'll let the Saturday market merchants know that the bridge is repaired. Let me help you, Adeline. Together, I'm sure we can guarantee that Saturday will be a market day in mystery again. Cheers to that. But, like, where? I feel like I completed that day later than I want to. Can't wait, can I just exit the town? Nope, I'm locked here forever. I'm stuck here. I'm a perpetual slave of this town. Um The Deep Woods. Can I go to the Deep Woods? You give that to me as an option. So I kinda wanna check out the Deep Woods. Yeah, of course, that's too hard to break. Of course. What was I expecting? Yeah. Um. Where is... I'm trying to think of people to, to give stuff. I still have a mystery. I still don't know who that person is. Can I give a child an alcoholic beverage? I feel like the answer should be no. Right? I'm not asking if I'm allowed to. That should be clearly no. Underage drinking is um, bad, I hear. Um, but like... Hmm? I have a very uh, tempting treat. Kids, where's the child? I hope to take baby around the country one day. Can I give the child an alcoholic beverage? We talked about impulse control. We did, we did, we did. And we established a good thing to do. I'm so excited that you're a bug catcher, Zeep. If you need any tips, you can ask me anytime. I'm always happy to help a new entomologist. Me too, kid. Me too. Hey, I got this, um, this silly mixed fruit juice. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh. Let me go talk to his mom. She's over here? No, she's downstairs. <laughs> Um, um, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me... Hey, buddy. Well, he doesn't love it or like it. But you can do it. <laughs> Zipier and better the child giving them alcoholic drink. <laughs> this isn't good luck. Oh, um, if you make, if it makes you feel better, they didn't like it. <laughs> oh, oh, yikes. Oh my, oh my, hey, how we doing? I was walking around the old mine and heard some odd noises. That's how I hear him. Mom's got big plans for the Saturday market. Awesome, you missed it. I'm just excited to walk around. Always so fun having a new people in town. We used to be a much livelier town back when the earth before the earthquake. I hope you're the first of many. Errol used to be the foreman of the mines before the earthquake caused a tunnel collapse. He kept going back in until he got every miner out. He takes his responsibilities very seriously. That's really nice. He's a good one. Evening. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, I'm gonna... Okay, so he didn't like beer. That's just coconut. That's just straight up coconut milk. I want. I want the good stuff. Red wine, white wine, hot toddy, whiskey, honey, and a secret blend of spices makes this drink comforting favorite. All right, let's get a hot toddy. Hey, Moody. Hmm. Thanks. Okay. 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 Wait. Hold up. Hold up. He said thanks. Was that a good thanks? Or was that a, uh... Okay, he, he likes the beer. He... We'll break this wall. We'll break this wall down, buddy. This wine's not bad, you two. Where'd you dig it up? I'm not sure. Tarithia brought it with her. This one's from the bottom of the bay. Wait, actually? In this next one I found in a sand dune on the beach. You're just finding wine? That's some well-aged stuff, buddy. So you, quit li you quite literally dug them up, I see. Hello. You're new in town. I'd like to give you the first checkup. Don't worry, it's free. Alright. We're not unreasonable here. I got some money. Um, what did we say about impulse control? Buy a round for everyone in the bar? That's too expensive, you're right. Um, you seem cool. So kind of you to bring me a bit of a refreshment. Cheers. Um, and I'll bring the doctor one too. Thank you. Okay, okay, I gotta check that. Because none of those seem... Okay, so he likes it. Um, so I feel like alcohol should be like a safe... You don't have dislike gifts on here, so like... Or like neutral. So I feel like it's still kind of a guessing game on that front. Ooh, clam chowder, not too bad. Alright. Maine has some really good clam chowder. Um, 
turn that in. It's only 10, but I feel like if I go home now, I should have enough time to clear out just a little bit more of my, uh, my farmland. Okay, this rock is killing me here. Cool. You know, I should probably buy more crops. This is this is a farming sim after all. I feel like I feel like the main source of revenue is this uh this cropland I have here that I'm uh, very much uh not utilizing to its full potential. But I have so much undeveloped land here that I could utilize. Oh, I should sell some stuff. Um, I guess I I probably don't want to sell wood for a while. I mean, or berries. I'll keep the wood. I'll keep the berries. I'll keep the uh, stone. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Everything else I can probably get rid of get rid of that as well. Also the acorn um, and the tulip. Cool. So open this. And then we can sell the other stuff here. Boom, boom, boom. Chop down a couple more trees before bed here. So if this is anything like Stardew, I cannot chop this? No. Okay. Probably need the, the copper axe or maybe even another level up above that. Oh, hello! It's nice. Nice ice guy. How you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. We're playing uh, some Fields of Mystery today. Brand new game. Very cozy, very demure. Four. I only have four. Yeah, I don't have any other uh, potions or doodads. Sell this and. It, oh. Cool. Then I'll go to bed because I've been missing the bed a couple times already. I've missed some birthdays, haven't I? I've definitely missed some birthdays here. So I did do two museum donations, completed two quests. Neat. How far away were we from stone, though? Because we're still on uh, level wood. You're doing great? Yeah, I'm also doing great. Um, feeling good. Feeling good on a Wednesday. Um, yeah, I just got this game like yesterday. Finally playing it for the first time. I'm having a pretty good time. Um, let's see. So there's the seventh. Uh, March's birthday is coming up soon. I have no like investment in March, but like. I want to be best friends because he he doesn't want it. Is that insane? Is that an insane mentality to have here? He's pushing me away, so I want it more. <laughs> oh, it's storming. My crystal ball works. Awesome. We received a shipment of turnips this morning from Balor. You're doing great work over there. I've attached my recipe for sliced turnips. I thought you might want to try it out. Thanks, I have no more turnips. Cool. Um, can I... can't do anything with those yet. What do I do? Um... 
I suppose I should chop down some trees, right? Maybe find some bugs. Marshy is very handy, man. I like Reyes and March. Those two are very cute. Um, I'm not really sure who I'm going for, honestly. Like, I'm just kind of like getting to know people so far. Um, you know the dragon? The dragon also has a heart next to their name, so, uh... Maybe that dragon, I don't know. I mean, uh, there's a whole brand called Bad Dragon for a reason, right? Um, whew. Um... Dozy, best boy. Errol's just fucking jacked. They're a menace. Um, prize winning chicken. Try to remember who. I like Juniper. Juniper's a brat. I like that. Um, Reyna seems nice. Valen also seems nice. I'm not really sure yet. I think it might be between those three. Um, between... Well, I mean, the dragon's the obvious choice, right? Hands down, dragon. Uh, probably Juniper... Barena's a cutie. Probably... Juniper, Reina, Ty. And then Valen, right? Valen kind of seems like a stick in the mud. But at the same time, like, they're grounded, you know? Like, they have, like, a professional career. Like, they know what they want in life. Um, Juniper seems nice, but, like, she's... She's a crystal brat. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can... How long I can tolerate that. I feel like the best option might be Reina. If we're being completely serious here. She's a head cook. You know, like... She knows how to cook. I'll take it. Anyway, oh, you just said something? <laughs> yes, think. He is the most special character right now. Yeah, it is true. The most eye-catching. Just on the art style alone. Yeah. Between Reyna and uh, Juniper, for sure. Juniper's a brat. Reyna's the down-earth one. Like, Reyna, Reyna's like... Like a long-term partner, you know? Like, just like based off of like first impressions and like... Attitude. Yeah. I think, I think that's my stance right now. The mines are still closed though, so I need I need money. I need to turn stuff in. I need to get my uh, my renowned rating up a bit more. I've leveled up a couple times. Should check to see what that's all about. If I can chop down stuff or make time go slower, that might be nice. You've helped to repair the bridge in town. Well done, Zeep. I'm sure the other villagers appreciate your efforts. Thanks? Is that... Okay, thanks, I guess. Oh, so I can spend these points on anything. Lumberjack. Breaking a branch will sometimes drop an extra piece of wood. I'm not sure what's worthwhile. Um... Going to bed with a zero stamina gives a stamina boost the next day. I could do that. I like that. Planting the seed will sometimes also water the soil in the targeted tile. That's well, that's huge for like day one, right? Planting seeds doesn't take energy. I guess tilling the earth does, right? Water and crop will sometimes refund the stamina used. For a farming sim, I think that's kind of huge. 
I'll do that one. Which character give the most help in the game? I'm not really sure. I mean, this is still like, just like the seventh or so day. I'm not really sure. Um, Reyna did give me a free beer, so that's nice. Or a free drink. Um, I mean, Dragon's pretty cool. I'm really on, uh, on about this dragon here. Wait a second. How much is a fishing rod? Wait, can I just, can I, can I buy a fishing rod now? I'm gonna go buy a fishing rod. Can I get out this way? I can. I don't know if you can get a free fishing rod from somewhere. I haven't found it, if so. Um, okay, gotta go up more. Uh, like for example, their skill set and items they give you for your farm adventure. I have no idea. Okay, so... I got the pickaxe from the museum guy. I got the bug net from a miner. Probably shouldn't. Um, the axe from the historian person. Um, the the white-haired Eleanor. No, Le Leland. Maybe I can't remember. I don't know yet. Um, I mean, like, I've I've gotten stuff left and right, but, like, nothing, like, super beneficial yet, I think. Um, we'll have to see. I mean, we're still, like, very early on in the game. Um, like, anything could happen, really. Ooh, what's this? Is this... Midlamist? That's a lot of money. A rare and beautiful red flower. Wait, and you're saying this isn't like a turn inable thing to our to our museum? I feel like this hands down should be something I can turn into like to the museum. That's insane. Oh yes, yes. I could also just buy these fish and turn them into the museum too. Um, that's fine. Sashimi. Ooh, I love sushi. Okay, so I don't see any bait. So I'm assuming I don't need bait for fishing? Um. I didn't complete that uh, transaction, did I? Bye. There we go. Look out for fishing shadows when exploring areas with water. Use your fishing rod to cast your line near the fish, ideally in their line of sight. Okay. Fishing will, fish will nibble and bite the line. Quickly pull them in when they bite. Uh, fish schools will appear sometimes, allowing you to easily catch multiple fish in a row. Uh, dive spots can also be seen in water occasionally. Swim over them and then dive to see what's hidden. I can go in the water. I don't know why I forgot about that. Wait. Yeah, wait. Hold up. Can I just... No? Wait, hold up. I can just... Wait. Oh, and I scared the fish. Why? Wait, I... What? Why did I not think about this? Oh, oh, oh. How do you fish? 
How do you fish? Um. G. Wait, I want. Wait. Wait. Don't scare him away. I don't know. I don't think I can use this in the water. Big fish. Um. All right. Good night, Fiesta. Um, don't worry about missing anything. This will be uploaded uh, probably on Monday. Maybe. 50-50. We'll see. Um, I think the flower girl is a gardener. And Hayden is a farmer. Uh, just like you, but with animals. Okay, yeah. Um, you need to be on land. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, Hayden seems nice and all, but, like, I don't really think my type. Um, flower girl. Flower girl. Adeline? I think Adeline. You mean Adeline or Cel um, Celine? Yeah, if you're saying Flower Girl, I think you mean Adeline. I mean, she seems nice. I mean, she also has a winter birthday, though. Um, can I go over here? I can. Ooh, fish. Oh, there's a log fish. You know how fish be sometimes? So far away. I don't think that guy's gonna see it. Yeah. But now I have a fishing rod though. So. It's a start. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a slow start for sure, but it's a start. It's already 2 p.m. Where did the time go? Big fish? Tuna. Cool. Oh, my inventory is so full. Oh, and cool stuff is on the ground, too. Wait, I've never been in here. It's locked. This where the mysterious wizard lives in the lighthouse. Yep, Celine. Um, yeah, the doctor lady is a medical professional. So yeah, she has all of the uh, the tools of the trade, you could say. Um, so Celine, Juniper, Reyna, and Doctor Woman. Okay, I mean, yeah. I feel like that's a pretty good mix-up. So for like right now, just kind of like hedge your bets. See see what vibes, you know. Um, I played a lot of um, Stardew Valley. I think my go-to almost every single time was the... Um, what was it? Abigail? The one that eats rocks. Yeah, I like her. Probably my favorite, honestly, it was Abigail. Fish. Keep the wood. And probably store most of this stuff, honestly. Well, as soon as I store it, I feel like I'm gonna need it, right? So let's just store that for now. Let's go back to... There seems to be a river running through my farm here, so let's go check that out, see if there's any fish. There are. There do be fish. Cool. Got another trap.
Was that eel? Gobby. I mean, kind of all seasons. Is this another fish that doesn't have a um have a turn in option? Strange. Oh wait, I can shake the trees. Why have I been uh, shaking every tree? I want the bugs. Yeah, if I'm gonna bother running around with a, a net on me, I feel like I should be shaking every single tree I see. That fish. Come on. Hopefully, this moves over enough to. Uh... I'm just gonna recast at this point. Yeah, he's moving too far away. Pike. Neat. Uh, Selene Gardener help with plants and fertility. Juniper is a witch with power and bath. She's actually a witch? She's not just like crazy into the crystals? Witch sounds hot then. Um, Reyna is top chef and second own of uh own of the hotel right reina's reina sounds pretty good too and doctor ladies have all the medicine and medical supplies to keep you and your others from illness that might be helpful for like um when we start doing like some mine some like cave exploration i could see that coming in handy a lot that is a lot of choice yeah Ooh. I don't think I need garden help as much. Like, don't get me wrong, like, garden help sounds nice. Bug. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Ah, drats. I don't think I have any food. I wasn't even looking. I don't think garden help is, like, really, a uh, huge necessity right now. I mean, it would be nice, don't get me wrong. Um, but for sure, Dr. Lady, for when we start going into the mines, that sounds super beneficial. But, but Juniper, the bath, the bath heals you as well, right? Both your, your energy and your health, so wouldn't that be the same as Dr. Lady? Just different flavor. Um, where's that grasshopper? Did that guy run away? Oh, I think he's gone. Bummer. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'm still just kind of playing it by ear, you know? Like, I have no, like, hard set feelings yet. Now, if we come across, like, a super goth one that eats rocks, I think our mind will be pretty, pretty set in stone at that point. But with the magic and sorcery, you're... You do drive a hard point here. Magic sorcery lady, that does sound pretty enticing. I mean, I'm wearing a witch's hat, right? Like... Uh, I do have an entire series of uh, Hogwarts Legacy in the works right now as well. Gosh, I think you're really pushing me towards, uh, towards Juniper here. Uh, it's already 12, I can't talk to Juniper tonight. What is Juniper like? Does Juniper drink? Do you know? I mean, because, like, everyone's at the bar at night, right? But I feel like... 
I feel like when in doubt, just like buy them drinks at night. Kind of feels like a surefire way to get on their good side. Oh yeah, I, I mean, I totally agree. It's my choice, like 100%. I make a lot of choices in games that people don't like. I'm not, I'm not afraid to do that in the least bit. Um, but which health, though? She doesn't sell her bath water, though. I think that's the thing. Does the witch make potions? Because the doctor could probably give me... That's a lot of money for today. Fishing is really the way to go. Um, the doctor could probably give me health potions, right? But no, 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 hear, hear, my, hear me out, hear me out. So the witch has like a restoration ability of like bath, right? Like that's like her whole thing is like the healing bath. Well, I don't want to like go all the way to her house to go take a bath and to like get full HP. So like clearly the way to do it is to have her sell the bath water. Like, I'm not, I'm not, like, trying to, like, like, meme this up or anything. Like, just clearly the option is to sell your bathwater. I mean, I'd buy it. Uh, hmm. Ugh. But, like, <laughs> I don't know. Sounds like a good, good business practice. Uh, it's going to be sunny tomorrow. Cool. <laughs> Um, I didn't sell stuff last night for some reason, so let me just throw that in there. I hope this letter finds you well. Can you meet me at the manor house when you have the time? I'd like to discuss Mysteria's emergency supply reserve with you. Emergency supply reserve? Interesting. What is this, a uh, Grimshire all of a sudden? Emergency food supply, perhaps? Also, Grimshire, super cool game. If you like this game, go check it out. Uh, it's still in demo. It's basically this game. I shouldn't say that. It's similar, it's a farming sim, but like, if you don't feed, if you don't produce enough crops, people starve to death. It's in demo. It's... It's cool. It's a, it's a cool game. Very wholesome, I swear. Maybe. I don't know. Um, Manor House, you say? Yeah, let's do that. Ooh. Snag that. Ooh, is that more? No. That's just background. That's nothing. Okay, Crystal Boy, what's going on? I kept trying to get out of the old uh, island's little game. We made me a character and everything. Still, what kind of name is Snickle Fritz? You got me there. You got me there. That stuff's used for something, right? Tile roof fence. Moongate. Huh. These all look like cosmetics. That's a decent amount of uh, health and stamina. I'll come back to that one. I should probably try and farm more. It is a farming game after all. But first the manor, hopefully something good. And then back to my daily quests. Thank you for your help repairing the bridge, Deep. Be sure to stop by Saturday Market to enjoy it with the rest of us. But where is the Saturday Market? They failed to tell me that much. Your request is reasonable, but I 
But could I suggest we add a sleep aid to the list of medicines? It keeps well. We ran short in the days after the earthquake. I like to weigh off. I like the weight off my mind to know we have extra stuff. That's a great idea. Our first aid supply should cover all the bases. Excellent. I'll keep to work. Tear pitch in as well, Z. Many ha mans make light. Many hands make light work. I'll leave you two to it. Thanks for answering my letter. I've sent our personal request to anyone who might be able to help us rebuild our emergency stockpile. I don't like to think about what might happen without it. Um, in the aftermath of the earthquake, unfortunately, it's pretty much used up. You can count on me. That's literally why you gave me land. If only I... Uh, words, wow. If only we could stockpile your enthusiasm too. Can you ship 10 crops to help resupply our food rations? I'll give you these seeds to get you started. Locally grown crops will keep well. And they're filled... And new... And they're filled and nutritious too. They're filled? Fill... Filling, jeez. Getting late. Think we'll... Uh... I think I'll sleep easier with all the emergency stockpile refilled, don't you? Why do we have an emergency stockpile, though? Like, I understand the actual logistics to it, like... But if this is something that I have to, like, upkeep, that's more concerning than not. You think it's near the town square? Um, I mean, right here makes sense. Or right here, maybe. It's gotta be close. Like, I'm sure it's not, like, too far away. What's up here? You seem to have some sort of a uh, greenhouse going on over here. It's a lot of flower. That's quite a lot of flowers. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll go plant some potatoes then, right? Spring crop. Yeah, we're still in early-ish spring. It's only the 8th. I think I'll go plant these and then, um... Honestly, probably go back to fishing. Because fishing seemed to be a real good way to make money. Wait, is this... Wait, I want this, and I want this. And I also want this. Is this a, a thing? Dive. Oh, I just grabbed a fish. Cool. Cool, I guess. If it works, it works. I do need a bigger backpack, though. This, uh, this backpack system is not working out for me. Yeah, 45 coin? 40? Yes, please. Like, I will gladly take it. Oh! My used hoe! Right here. And buy one at the shop. Oh, short term memory. Uh, what can I buy at the shop? A backpack? How much is a backpack upgrade? I feel like it would be a lot, right? Ooh, the farming just went up. Very cool.
Oh, and uh, water, right. Plants need water usually. Cool. I mean, a backpack upgrade probably isn't much more than a thousand, right? 500? I could do 500, like right now. Yeah, let me just drop off the stuff quick. And let's go see if we can get a backpack. Because if that's the case, 100% I will. Of course, I'm just one coin away from 500. So if it's 500, I might be a little bit disappointed here. General store is off to the right. Oh, where are you? Cool. Oh, and I can turn you in. Awesome. I want a backpack. A thousand, yeah. Ugh, bummer. No, a thousand makes sense. For ten slots, like, that's huge. That's so huge. A placeable shipping bed? Can I put this anywhere? Because if I can put this like on the beach, that would be really cool. Yeah, if I can if I can place the shipping bin like on someone else's property, that would be a game changer. Place that on a beach, I could literally fish all day. Oh, I do have a grasshopper, though. I want to go turn that in before I forget. We're looking right here. Oh, big fish. Cool. You know, uh, I'm going to get the fish first. Because these guys have a tendency of just vanishing. Please. Cool. Salmon. Another fish that I can't turn in. I feel like fish should be like one of the few things that you can always turn in, right? You think I can get free story from mine or side quest? That could be interesting. I mean, I guess I haven't checked the uh, the side quest board in a while. I probably have some that I can probably accept right now. Oh, I can turn that one in. Bluegill. Shake a tree. Oh! Got a bug. Got a bug. Turn that guy in too. Very cool. One shake is probably the same as like a thousand shakes, right? Like if you shake a tree and nothing comes out, there's probably never going to be anything that comes out. I don't know how trees work. Here we go. I thought I was lost for a second. <laughs> Donate. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Well, I know I can check the website, but like, what fun is that, right? You sure bring any specimens you find with the insect wing? Yep. 
been there, done that. Like, I don't love spoilers in games. Like, if you if you were to like give me a hint here and there, like, I wouldn't be like torn up about it. You know, like, cool, that's fine. Um, but like, I don't know. Like, I don't love just like going onto like the wiki and like looking up every single detail of the game. It's like that's not super enjoyable to me. Um, I mean, that's just me personally, though. This- this tree is a thing. Can I not interact with this? What are you? What? You see this, right? There's a weird thing right here. Is that just a flower or grass? It's probably nothing. <laughs> Gosh, the time moves so fast in this game, though. It's insane. Like, I need something to, like, keep my stamina up longer. Like, I understand that I can just, like, buy food and stuff. Um, I wonder if Reyna can make themed food for our next threat. Dragons and drama. I have ideas. This game's so cute. Let's go to the let's go to the bar. Let's go to the inn. Speaking of which, I need another refreshment. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Um, the whole like idea of having soup ready to eat at night because that gives you back like stamina and health, right? So wouldn't it make most sense for me to come here like the middle of the day, get some soup, and then continue on the rest of my day? I feel like just naturally I come to the bar at night to like end my day. When I should be coming here in the middle of the day, eat the free soup, go on with the rest of my day, and then come back, and then do the bar stuff, eh? I think there's a cutscene for that. Uh, it way faster than Stardew Valley. Yeah, Stardew Valley is like... The day-night cycle is... I feel like it might actually be a little bit too long like a wild take because I mean I st still in Stardew I missed my bed by like by like seconds right but in Stardew I feel like yeah if it's if it's almost bedtime and it's like an hour to bedtime I, I still have time to like book it from like across the map and make it a bed on time but for this game it's like oh you're not in, like, the same chunk of the map within, like, an hour and a half. Like, yeah, you're screwed. Like, it's, it's definitely not enough time. Like, to get to bed at 2 a.m. in this game, I have to leave the tavern by probably 10. 10 or 11, honestly, which seems, like, way too long. Or, uh, way too... Too soon? Mysteria's recover Mysteria's recovery could happen a lot faster if the mine was reopened. Of course, it could also speed along my profits as well. Ho ho ho. Adeline's always had a knack for emergency planning. Even as a child, she had a well stocked go bag. Although, I'm sure her current one is less chocolate bars in it. Hey, uh, helps with dementors. I know what you're thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking. I wasn't expecting to spend my hottest years in this podunk town, but here I am. Oh, just me? Hmm. Alright, um... What is she like? Is she a wine kind of gal? I feel like wine's easy. I'll do wine. 
Hey, you're like, oh, you have wine in your hand. Would you like more wine to go with your wine? Just what a girl needs when she's going to spend eight consecutive hours in front of her crystal ball, thanks. Oh. That was actually a good thing, right? Like, that was... You like that? Well, she likes it. She doesn't love it, but she likes it. I'll take that. I can give the dog a gift. Can I give the dog an alcoholic beverage? I can give the kids an alcoholic beverage, and I have. Oh, I'll have to try that. I mean, what? One sec, let me just spend all my money on, uh, on drinks for the group. Actually, that was most of my money. Zeep, you wouldn't believe what some of the locals are drinking tonight. It's really quite embarrassing. Don't mind, Juniper. That's just her way of being friendly. It's not. Hey, would you like some wine? Oh, lovely. The vineyards of Mystria used to be quite famous, did you know? That was back before my father's time, and still think our local wines are quite good. Who are you? No, you're no one. Okay. Um. Moody Boy is still over there in the in the shop. There should be more people here. Are they all upstairs? Every time it hit 11 p.m. No, hold me that wrong. <laughs> what what's wrong? Giving uh, alcohol to the dog? He loves it. I think. I don't know yet. I actually haven't tried it yet. Don't mind me. I'm gonna go, uh... I'm gonna go make a new friend. Hey, buddy. You can tell that dozy things a bath will be just the thing for you. Thanks, buddy. Hey, uh... I can pet him. Can I not? Ah. Oh, I can't give him wine. I physically cannot give him wine. Oh, that's too bad. I can give him a treat, though. Okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> What's wrong? Listen, if if you if you give your dro if you if you give your dog alcohol, he would be happy. Maybe confused uh and terrified, but uh maybe happy, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what's going up upstairs? Oh, hello. Oh, wait, come back. You weren't going anywhere, were you? You must be working so hard down on the farm, Zeep. Are you eating enough? Sleep enough? Don't stay up too late. Oh shit. Oh shit, you're right. Oh shit, I gotta go. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, it's 11.40. Oh no, oh no. A rock came back. Okay, so I, I can make it back. I guess it doesn't take that long to get home. It's just... It's a little bit longer than I want it to. Okay, we made 300. That's about what we spent at the bar tonight. Home, you got drop sleep. I got good sleep. Yeah, a hundred percent. Oh, look at me. Look at me doing grown up things, adulting. 
doing things right. We got this. Yeah, free shoes too. We're like on top of things a day. We're spending our entire day's uh, worth at the bar. Making friends. Now, if there's a way... Are friendships a thing yet? Like... I've given some gifts. I've talked to people every day. I'm still at, like, no hearts. Do I have to talk to them more? I could probably talk to them more, to be honest. I mean, once or twice a day doesn't seem like a whole, uh, whole lot of conversation right there, you know? Save hay for animals? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I should probably do that. Uh, tomorrow's sunny. Which is okay, I guess. If you're into that. I like it when it rains so I don't have to water my crops, personally. Let's get some fishies. Ooh. Some, something that we can actually turn back into the, uh, the museum. Are you not a... you not a thing? Are you a fishing thing? You're a glimmer. Why are you a glimmer? Can't wait for this game to come to Nintendo Switch one day. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, I don't play Switch as often as I want to. Like, I really like the idea of a Switch. Um, I like the portability of it, and I like some of the games on it. Like, I really enjoyed Animal Crossing for a while there. Um, I have other issues with Animal Crossing in its entirety. But, like, I, a lot of the games for the Switch just don't seem to be ported over very well. Like, Slime Rancher, for instance, I love that game. On the Switch, it heats up like crazy. Like, it, it turns my Switch into a mini toaster. Come on, fish. I don't know if I'm gonna get this guy. I mean, also though, like, I'm a content creator, right? Like, I'm trying to do this, uh, professionally, hopefully, someday. Um, but, like, the Switch makes it a little bit more difficult to do that. Um, I would have to get, like, a capture card, and it's, it's like, a whole thing. I mean, not impossible, for sure. Um, like, there are definitely games out there that, like, I think I can play pretty well on Switch. Um, I could probably do, like, Breath of the Wild or something. If, if like, another big game comes out soon. Yeah. Ooh, big fish. I think I've definitely done more fishing than actual farming in this game. It's so big. 80 coin. It almost picks up my bar tab for tonight. Fish don't stack, right? That would be wild, right? I don't think I've come across the same fish twice in one inventory yet, so I'm not really sure. I assume they don't stack. Assume I can't get this guy from here. Let me up. Oh, good wood. Good, good. Ooh. And a bug. 
yeah, there's just so many distractions for my poor, poor ADHD brain here. I don't know how I'm going to handle here. Too many distractions, really. I need a better fishing rod, too. Every time you load your switch, your battery's gone? It sounds like you just need to replace your battery, honestly. Um... Yeah, for real. Like, that, that happened with my, uh, my laptop. I have a, uh... Well, I mean, not this computer, of course, but, like... Before I bought this computer, I had a, like, ROG, uh, gaming laptop. Um, but, like, now whenever I, like, whenever I turn it on, the battery just dies, like, instantly. Oh, fish do stack. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, battery replacements are probably fairly easy for Switch. I haven't looked into it now that you say it. But, yeah, it's probably just a few screws and a battery. The battery's probably going to run you anywhere between 50 to to $100, if I had to guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of talking at this point, you know? But, in my experience, batteries aren't... Probably, yeah, probably within that range, I'd say. You could also probably, like, take it in somewhere, but, like... Nintendo is awful for, like, right to repair and stuff. Um, they're almost as bad as Apple. So I wouldn't really trust anything through a Nintendo official. Some of these I can turn in. Let's turn in stuff before we sell a bunch of stuff. Yeah, that, that portable storage, that, uh, not storage. The portable sale cart, or, or placeable, I should say. I think that would really come in handy. Now that I say that, what is stopping me from making that completely portable, right? Because I can place it in the world, and I could drop stuff in there. But I could also just, like, pick it back up. And then place it somewhere else? That sounds pretty portable to me. Yeah, at this point, I. Th oh, bug. At this point, I think I really just wanted to get a thousand coin. So I can go buy that backpack upgrade so I can actually do stuff without having to like run all the way back home, sell a bunch of stuff, then run back and fish. Like, that's a whole school. That's a whole school of fish right there that I can't get because my inventory is full. Blah, 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 blah. Hopefully they're still there. Nope, they're gone. Awesome. It's a weird looking fish. Ah, yes, the... The fiber fish, of course, of course. Yeah, my uncle told me to get to a repair shop and I'm just fried to get scammed. I like keeping my work separate from my game because buying a PC will mess me up. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much um, on that front. It's... Yeah, um, buying, when you say buy a PC, do you have, like, the intention of, like, making a PC? 
or just like buying a pre-built because I bought a pre-built and I love it. Um, I would like to make my own PC someday, but like I don't have the patience for that, and I know I don't. Like, there's a lot of like stuff to like research and like PC part picker, um, and it's as much as I hate to say it, it's just a lot easier to buy a pre-built. But, like, if you're talking, like, cost-wise, yeah, like, professional, like, like, gaming PCs aren't cheap. I mean, my PC is running, like, a, I think it's, like, a 4060. It's not a TI, it's just a standard 4060. I bought it at Costco, actually. Um, bought mine for $1,500, so not too bad. You're thinking about building a PC, but you'll mess up. I wouldn't worry too much about messing up, like, go to PC Part Picker, um, if, you know, just walk through the steps. It's supposedly pretty easy, but like, not knowing the ins and outs of things, like, I don't really know what to do. Like, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, and then I end up having, um, what was that called? It's, a, uh, it's like a scope creep. Where it's like, oh, yeah, I, I want a 4060. And then you do some research, and it's like, oh, I actually want a 4060 Ti, which is like a couple hundred dollars more. And then it's like, oh, actually, the 4080 Ti looks pretty good. It's like, that's my issue. It's like just like progressively getting more and more like outrageous. Just, just go buy a pre bill if you're worried about it. Costco has some. Um, I wouldn't buy any from like Walmart, though. Um, Best Buy probably has some decent buys as well. Just don't be afraid. Like, do like do your research, of course. Like, figure out, like, what graphics card you want, and then figure out, like, your storage needs, and then you're pretty much set from there, I'd think. <laughs> that's why you keep a laptop. I mean, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> I know you're the new farmer and all, but don't get jealous. I'm the one in town who knows. Who's known for being corny. <laughs> oh, I love him. Yeah, he's the best. Won't surprise me with a dinner date. Isn't he sweet, Zeep? It's a good thing Nora doesn't have trouble with dairy. I don't know how we'd make it work if she couldn't handle my cheesy jokes. Oh, he's the best. I suppose I should think about heading to bed. Lots to do tomorrow. Yeah, that's fair. Good talk, good talk. How do you like town so far, Zeep? Nice, right? Don't forget, if you're looking for good food and good company, the Sleepy Dragon Inn's got you covered. That old farm has been derelict for quite some time. It makes my heart swell knowing someone will be taking care of it again. Welcome once more to Mysteria, Zeep. Zeep, thank you so much for your help repairing the bridge. I should probably warn you that my sister has moved up the time, the timetables for several of her other initiatives as a result. Still, it's all to help Mysteria grow. Exciting times are ahead. <laughs> M-Luck's pretty good at cards. Well, Balor seems... Like a bit of a shark. Of course, Tarithia's the biggest shark of them all. She'd clean them both out. Hmm. Oh, the kids. Hey, Lux, turn to decide what we do tomorrow. What do you want to do, Luck? Oh, this is a lot of pressure. Is this what it's like being a leader of the dungeon guard, Del? All right, good talk. She look extra yellow today. If it isn't the talk of the town, I suppose I have to hand it to you. You're willing to get your hands dirty. Feel free to use the bathhouse to clean up. We need a bite or a drink. I'm gonna give her a hot toddy. I don't remember if I if I've given her one yet. 
Hmm, thanks. Uh I'm offering a new resident discount you might want to take advantage of. Buy one bath, get one bath. Okay. Now the the bridge is repaired, the Saturday market is back on. I've been saving my allowance for this. Arise, Sir Luck. I dub thee my royal bug guy. Insect. Don't dog back to your queen. Oh, Zeep. Are you finding your way around town alright? Making friends? Do you have enough to eat? Don't forget to take a big bowl of soup from the inn's pot. Yep, I already did that. I'm not sure how much of this dialogue to actually say, and how much not to say, because it, it's starting to repeat, right? wonder what kind of insects are in the mines. I wish I knew, kid. Del says we'll explore there when we're older. That's good, I'll be less scared by then. Okay, okay. Don't be shy about popping into the general store. Uh, you know, Zipa, I admire you taking over the old farm. Uh, thought about myself, but I live too much by the seat of my pants. Did I already talk to you two? At dinner? I read. I always get comments about how well I walk in the high heels on these rustic count country byways. I suppose small things stimulate small minds. Oh! I think I like Juniper more and more by the day. Oh, you saw a lot of stuff that I missed. Once I get this game, I am naming my farm the Barnyard. I love that. And the first cow and chicken, Otto's and Carl Carlos. After the characters of the show. Oh my. Okay, okay. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> oh, I love it. No, this is a great game. I'm glad I got this. Sometimes the wave put me to sleep, and sometimes they wake me up. Sucks. Don't know what to say about that one. Ooh, a fish. I've never seen a fish before. Come on, come on, come on. Cool. Oh, I got a chub. Gosh, I'm so low on money again. Ooh, big fish. Oh, I'm out of energy. Oh, that's not good. I guess we're just gonna have to hope that I have enough, um... Enough income for tomorrow to buy that bag. I kind of doubt it at this point, to be honest. Um, I haven't been actually saving my money. I've just kind of been uh, spending it willy-nilly. That's okay. Decent, decent money, though. Almost 500 for a day. Y'all take it. Maybe tomorrow we should have enough for, uh, for that bag upgrade. I need to do more quests, though. My rank only went up a little bit. Alright, well... Save your money, homie. A broke fam doesn't get no food on another day. Yeah, you're tr you're right, you're right. Well, I'm actually gonna call it here. Um, I'm starting to get kind of tired. It's been it's been a good one. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in this long. I really appreciate it. Thank you for joining me, uh, the new group. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Uh, this will be on YouTube hopefully in the next couple of days. So uh, go follow me on YouTube, go follow me over on Twitch, and like, comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.